I'm with the 145s in the I think I boys. said on stream last night, by the way, Dan, as well. I said Dean Wasaki might do well next week. He can run not no to no. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> um, Beth forced me to do it. You've just hit me on my head in my ass. I'm going to disconnect you tonight. You fucked up. <laughs> I was told to. You keep taking out the fucking boards, man. Sorry, you're annoying that, innit? I'm <laughs> sorry. Not me, I did that earlier. I went to break, I'm like, fuck, no, that's number two, not three. Shit! You are, mate. Bloody hell, I'm all over the place in this Lambo. Take Wi Fi off, but not the Wi Fi. So, yeah, I'd go in the Accor, genuinely. Yeah, are you gonna. Oh, you you might wanna test your tyre pressures. Get ready, right. for, get ready for the excuse, peaceful. Got no front down force. Yeah. Yeah, shit that the front end keeps washing out on the Lamborghini. You don't know what's up with it. Maybe because I've got no front down force. <laughs> you're, you're, definitely, yeah, you're definitely gonna need tyre pressures sorted. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's just Liam because he's fucking smashed into Gary. Gary's not Wakasaki. Gary's not here tonight. Is he no, back? not tonight. Yeah, I'm on a bat when I was at Sugo. Fucking hell, I've got three, two tyres orange, oh, one tyre yellow, and a mild oh. green one. You need to find out if you're off well, on the 24th on the of August. One. Yeah, Why? that's that wheelie and It's a year of sim play. Mm. It's a Tuesday night, a year of sim play. <laughs> Liam yeah, come up with the, the suggestion of what we're right going to do for that event. From. And we're going to, because yeah. most of us come from THR, we're going to do a THR night on that night, on the Tuesday. Um, oh, right. So each class of the THRs, we're going to do it a different track that was raced at THR. I thought, yeah. for shits and gigs, Porsches at Sugo. Oh, When's this? Yeah. Tuesday the what? 24th of August. So why yeah, would you so want me to come in the ex in that car? Bro? Well, because it's THR night, so we raced in the Porsches, right. didn't we? So it'll be Team can Soft I put Porsche. Can forward for one, Matt? Yes, mate. For Dean, can we have the... Look, you know, is it Silverstone the Classic? Porsche. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, no, that's the one I've already got. Well, is it going to be multiple cars and multiple tracks? So it'll be Geneta oh. GT5s. Um, on it, right. on it, around Brands Indy, I think, for 10 minutes. It'll be Formula Rookies around Silverstone Classic for 10 minutes. It'll be Clio Cup around, I'm thinking, Donny for 10 minutes. Then it'll Ooh. be the GT4 Ginetta for the GT4 Super Cup around possibly Alton Park for 10 minutes. And it'll be the Porsche Super Cup around Sugo for 15 oh. minutes. And then it'll oh. be a touring car race around Brands GP for 20 minutes. Oh. McGann banned. <sighs> Why is yeah. McGann banned? Okay. Because that's uh, that was because THR. We weren't allowed it in THR, were we? But they're ten minute races, Kelly, so it's timed races, not no pit stops, nothing yeah. like that, just straight up straight shootout sort of stuff. Default setups so right. just turn Are up we and race sort of thing. On? Yeah, or damage on, yeah, we're not having a THR night where damage is off. We'll have damage on but default setups yeah. that night. I'll try to check that. Default setups Sil across the board. With yeah, on, across the board, every everybody easy. default setup so that you just get in the car and drive it. That way you've not got to test right. six different cars and get a setup for it. You can just turn up and, and drive. Right. Are you, are you taking names? I will be, yes, I will be eventually, yes. Okay. Matt, do I have to say my name? Yes. Otherwise he's not gonna know, is he? If you well, don't race, if you don't race, will you stream it? Me? <laughs> if you don't race, because if I don't race, <laughs> it'll be because I'm at fucking work. Because I want no. to fucking... Did you I get want, a job, did you? I knew what he was oh, yeah, about, I got it. Yeah, I wanted oh, well to... Done. I want to race Thank against you. Sooty at Sugo in the Porsche, at least. A job? What job did yeah, you get, Liam. Hayley asks? Uh, I was... I'm store assistant. Uh, Asda. At? Asda. Cool. <laughs> when did you start? Or haven't you started yet? I haven't started yet. I only went to my interview today. And I've Where got... I've got... It. I've got Induction not this Friday but next Friday and then I should start week after that but I'm not sure. Ideal. Well Would they done. Feel bad for you? you what? They, they do a lot of good work for charity. <laughs> <laughs> they do well taking a quarter of special people on, don't they? Yeah. Big cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah! yeah. Shit. That's about doing mid fifty six. Ball bag. Oh you wait till you see the core here. 
Put See my yeah, name down, Matt. Ma down I will do, my mate. heart bleeds purple piss for your one. See ya, Liam. Piss. If you're not if you're not able to race, I'd love you to stream if you can, so that I could possibly race against. Well, I would. Sutted. I would. But we've got to see if I at work. He's not getting why is he, I'm Matt? The, He's not understanding. I'm on, the I'm on the wheel, Matt, so it won't be a race between us. You're quicker on the wheel than the pad now, mate. You know you are. So let's not I'm deny not, it. I'm not in the Ginettas. <laughs> Don't matter about the Ginettas, as long as you are in that Porsche GT3 around Sugo. It's okay, I'm slow around Sugo, got, though. I've got a setup for the GT, uh, Ginetta to piss uh, Matt off for you, so you want to back Oh, have you? What, the GT4? Yeah. There's no setup. Yeah. Default setups. Yeah, to be de ah. it's default setups, so you've fucked that one already. <laughs> nah, fuck it. Hack it, mate. Well, if we're going back to THR, I might have to dust off the old pad. <laughs> dust off the old pad. Hello, yeah, pad, yeah. my old friend. I'll have watch to buy a new pad, though, because I've got to watch, drift off both of them. Watch him lose that to fucking swim fins or something. Oh! oh I'm not as bad as you. <laughs> Tell you what, Sakura's nice, boys. Don't know. I told you, mate. Are you actually running softs? Yeah. <laughs> How many laps you done? Two. <laughs> That'll be the end of that then. <laughs> <laughs> They're so green. I'll say. Fuck I'll off, tell you now. K no, Kieran tested soft in the Merc, and he got that them is to green work. Green is my brain. He was yeah. slower. The, the tires so actually got them to work. They stayed green. The tires are green, but his lap times in the four minute thirty eight. No, it was two oh one. No, that wasn't. That was, his lap times like last night. Cause he's on the wet tire apparently. No, he did a 201 in testing on the softs. All right. And he did consi consistent laps, 201, 202, on softs without them burning up. Hello, Padma. And then, friend. then he realised that everyone was a fuckload quicker. Sutty, if we, if me and you are both racing that night, though, we have to go in our THR livery, surely. Oh, 100 percent. Team Softy oh, load racing for oh. one night, one night and one night only. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh God, I'm just, yeah, I've just lost. I've just lost to you, Cora. I bet Ice. you wish you did. What's that? I bet you wish you'd lost to Cora. I'm thinking about the Merc for next season. Oh, Sutty, I'm, I'm, I need to discuss yeah. something oh, with you and Phil. Actually, what's, what's that? I mean, no, no, I'm not going to say it in public lobbies. I'll, I'll wait till. Oh, uh, you want us in? You want us in prom because we've missed so many races. Well. <laughs> I might have to strike a deal with you about it, but yes. In the Accord, oh, yeah. yeah. If you, if because of you two working I based off that. what you said the other day, if you was to yeah, race the, if you was to race the, because the way it's going at the minute is if Mazda does sign back up and Vale side joins, yeah, it's either demote Liam and Joe because they're the twoest newbies, or yeah. demote you and Phil. But if you was to stay in the Accord with you missing so many weeks because of work, whoa, 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 maybe whoa, demote you two. Because no, whoa, what, whoa, whoa, what you whoa. don't know, what Master, you're woeing at, Matt, what you don't know is we're having, we're, we're, we're doing a massive reshuffle because there might be a chance we could have an amateur class. So we're having a massive reshuffle at the moment. I, no, no chance, Sutty. I've got dibs on the amateur class. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you still won't even fucking win in that. I've seen how you drive. Oh. 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 I don't know if Phil will want to be in the Acora. That's the only thing. Right, well, that's what I say. You'd have to speak with him. We've got to weigh, all, weigh it all up anyway. Yeah, we've got to see who goes up and down and stuff first and, 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 and what the sign-ups are like to start with. So we're it. getting to the point right now, I think. We're we're commissioning now. So we've got another couple of weeks, you know, being busy. Yeah. And then potentially we're going to have a shutdown. Some of the, how many, you know how many weeks we shut down for? But it depends on... Jamie Brazier, I might not make stuff. race one. Still not had oh. my dinner yet. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Did he take his shit? No, no, and I know that's real because think, Dan, think back to Motive with the F1. Shut the he fuck couldn't, up, Matt. He couldn't race at Motive because he didn't have his dinner. Do you remember? No. Matt, you've dropped Phil is online. Do you, me, do, do, do you want to talk to him now? You can bring him so in quickly. I'm just going to run to the toilet. Nearly, if he may, um, makes it, you got to go, Jamie nearly missed the race tonight for race one because he didn't yet have his dindins from his mum. <laughs> 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 All right, boys, I'm going to jump in the park with D-Biggs. I'll catch you a bit. Yeah, I'm going to jump in the party, boys. Right see on, you guys. Good luck, guys. Right, I'll see you in the morning, right? See you in the morning too, Sati. Night. <laughs> Love you, mate. Sleep <laughs> tight, babe.
Toodles. Bye bye. Is Phil not coming yet? Not yet. Uh, no. Is he even in this party? I don't know. You might want to have a look in now. <laughs> yes, he is. But I'm going in with peaceful now. We'll talk after the racing, Matt. I don't think he's there. Uh, I can hear him walking about downstairs. Right. I'll try. <laughs> I'll just, Kelly, tell him I'll try and sell it to Phil. All right. Okay. We'll do. I don't think he'll want to be in the accord. <laughs> I don't blame him. Go in Cadillac instead. Guaranteed win. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm gonna, we'll, we'll talk to you after the race, and I think we're, we're going to jump in a party with Peaceful now. Okay, no worries then, buddy. I'll try and butter him up, but I can't see him wanting the Acora. Well, like I say, just it's just an idea, but if you're, then, if you're going on a shut down, you're able to race, then maybe it's something we can let go and do demotely him and Joe, but we'll, we'll, we can talk. Yeah. We, we can just talk. No, you're not allowed to demote me. We just don't know what's happening with work, you know, the, you know, like, they're wanting extra lads in and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you, I'm with you. Obviously, work starting to pick up, obviously, they want the plant open. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like I say, we'll talk about it after. All right, mate, I'm going to jump into another party with Kelly, so best luck to the three of you that are left. Yo, babe. Go. Hello, Pad, my old friend. I come to talk with you again because of vision subtly creeping. I love to see it while I was sleeping. <laughs> that was planted in my brain. Uh Yes, mate. Yes, buddy. Yes, buddy. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah, this is this is a constant thing we're talking about every week. Um, and it is at a point where I've said to the guys, look, you guys are all um, moderators, the admins. So if you're on, you're able to, like, if you look at the stream now, Peaceful's got like a spanner and his name's blue next to his name. He is able to silence any of the shit, as is Welshie, who's a main admin. I've not seen Dan on to make Dan one. I think Kieran can do the same thing. Um, and Little Leech is one because he did all our socials, uh, did all our tables and stuff. So I just made him one because if he was on on a Wednesday, he could keep get rid of the bullshit. The trouble is, is they're not on enough. And while I'm commentating and watching the race, I'm not always looking at the. Yeah, well. Comment? Do you know what I mean? Yes. But commenting on instance, I mean. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm referring to Daniel Francis particularly, but yeah. um, we've had incidents all the way through the season where this has happened. But, I mean, I listen to you while I'm driving, yeah. right? And it's very annoying to hear Daniel Francis putting his case forward while we're still in the race, you know? Yes. And I don't think it's the right place to be doing it. No, yeah, no, you I know? completely agree with that. And it's and something I, I that... wondered if we could just put a, you know, you could have a penalty for doing it. Yeah, you know, no, that's simple as. Yeah, I could put that, thank you, Beth. I could put that forward to the admins and we can dis discuss yeah. that one. But, like, thank you, babe. But obviously, it's, um, it is an ongoing issue that he's spoken about every yeah. week about the state of how yeah. many, you know, and like I say, 90% time, 90 of the time it's Daniel Francis. You've also got Smithy and MJ that do a bit. Yeah, Don, yeah, they, Don they does they his do face yeah. here. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think it's right. Do you? No, you know, like Nicky you know? said last week about what the f he put something like what the fuck, Dean. I don't know if he actually put fuck, but he said like, yeah. you know, what the fuck, Dean, in terms of. But he never. That yeah. was it. He left it at that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it is getting to a point. You know, even the bits about like Dean. Oh, I quit. It's like Dean just. Even them bits are annoying me. Like if you're going to comment, yeah, yeah. just comment something normal. Yeah. You know, I if mean, Daniel Francis. Uh, I mean, last night he's going. Oh, Kelly, hit me again. Do you yeah, know what I mean? And this yeah. and that. He hit me just as many times as I hit him. Do yeah, you know what I mean? No, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you know, it just just builds, um, um, you know, makes me out as a bad guy. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You know, and I'm just thinking, well, that's not fair. I'm bloody racing here. I don't know how he does it. Do you know what I mean? But Yeah, but- and this is something that I've sort of looked at all season, and it's got worse as this season particularly has gone on. I mean, these last two weeks of Pro-Am, there was a bit of argy-bargy with yourself and Daniel last night, and then, well, yeah. we all know what happened Laguna at Pro-Am. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other yeah. thing, because the other thing I'm wanting to do is as I'm getting fed up of last minute text messages saying I can't make it tonight right now if you're busy I get that Uh, people leave busy lives but two of them I got text messages at 8 o'clock oh I'm on holiday forgot about it it was Wednesday like why don't you just fucking tell me that if you know you're going away why don't you tell me last week oh I'm I'm, I'm away I'm not going to make you know what I mean I knew you was DJing a week before you was DJing luckily enough it got pushed back because of the England game but I knew a week in advance I found out from two of the pro-am drivers at 8pm I didn't hear from Stealth Sloth Don didn't text me until I messaged him at 8pm and it's like guys what are we doing here well again I think I think the 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 the, the, the GT three is becoming so popular. I mean, you, I mean, you're struggling to to um, to shuffle around pro, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? And yeah. you know, it, it looks like I'm going to come second in the championship. And you know, with with rights, I should I should go up, but I don't want to go up. Do if you, know you mean? don't so, want, yeah. And this is the thing that me and you are obviously spoke about. If you don't want yeah, to go yeah, up, yeah, stay yeah. down. If you want to go up, yeah. I'm happy to yeah. promote you. The top three yeah. will go up as normal, whether it leaves yeah. X Mart in the pro am or not. Yeah, Um, because I think BT will finish ahead of him now obviously with the ongoing problems but regardless of that situation um, if you want to go up go up if you don't and think Exmart or BT whoever finishes fourth should have the spot on pace and you want to have a better season four with with more challenges and more possible race wins for yourself then fine obviously we spoke about that but the GT3s are getting a bit more demanding where we've had Mays want to come in and then we said no because of Championship battles and and Vale side yeah. wanted to race this week and we've said no because of championship battles. Yeah. You know, yeah. I've got blokes commenting on different groups saying, "Is there any room to race?" Yeah. Like I say, it's getting that much now where there could be an AM class. We don't know whether to, we don't know whether emo guy will be back. We don't know whether Keegs will be back. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's well, one of them. This is it. Well, maybe there should be some sort of criteria as it's so busy. If you miss a certain amount of races, you're out. Yeah, this this is something I'm putting forward for season four. This yeah. is something I'm definitely putting forward. And it, it, I didn't like the way that Motive did that. You miss two races in a row, you're gone. But at the same time, yeah. they did that with the F1 when I raced the F1 at Motive. But at the same yeah. time, I'm now having that situation here where, like, look at Leon Fernie, he's barely flipping turned up. Alfie's yeah. not turned up for, like, the last three weeks. You know, yeah. all right, Aiden's missed the odd race because of work. And, you know, I get the, accept- I get the exceptions. But if I'm not finding out till 8 o'clock... Then what's, right. the, what, yeah. what's the point? If you say I might I might miss race one, might miss the whole yeah. evening because of work, fine. But if you text me well in advance that day, all right, you're not going to know till that day. But if you've text me yeah. a good hour or more before, fine. I've got time to be like, all right. So who's on a reserve list? Who can I say? Yeah. Do you fancy a race tonight? Yeah, and, and well, get in. Be, you know, and 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 especially if those people are kind of um, approximate to the to the to the to the class. Yeah. You know, like you look at um, it logically. If we had an AM class, and you put someone like Smithy in that AM class, and we said, "Smithy, do you want to hang around for the second race? Such and such can't make it." Yeah, it's a good bit of practice for one of the AM drivers. You know, like a DJ yeah. Phil or something like that, or whatever. Um, yeah. But at the same time, it's no good fucking doing it at eight o'clock at night. Do you know what I mean? No, no. Well, I think there needs to be. Um, well, new criteria. Yeah, there's, I mean? there's some there's some massive things yeah. I'm wanting to discuss yeah. um, this season and 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 going forward into next year about people missing races. You know, we brought the rule in last year about trying to get people to finish races, and yeah. that seems to have worked with um, a, a, a few people not retiring as much. I know Andy and Disco are one retirement away from losing 25 points in their championship. Dean and Stelzloff yeah. have already had that penalty because they've because re- yeah. they've not done eighty percent of the season. But I feel that it's meant a few people have either got to that three quarter mark or have yeah, finished yeah. the race because of you know you look at Argent race one his race was ruined because he did five laps on the wet tires and then came back and and retired like on lap thirteen of his race when the leader on lap fifteen got to his three quarter distance didn't mind the retirement there because you know 
he's out that race but has, has stuck around to score his points to get registered for the yeah, points yeah. Yeah. you're getting people like Dean who did what he did at Spa both first race both first and second race and then just retired on the opening lap and it's like well that's someone's seat you've taken to retire on lap one of both races you know what what was the point You know, mm. Mm. I really do. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, yeah. Sam fill an invite. Okay, so he's, good job we've not started yet then. So Phil is on there, isn't he? Um, yeah, no, Phil's on the driver roster. So if I press join, um, that should join me back, or will it join us to a new one quickly? Right, join me back. Good job I'd not started up. I was literally just press. Express start. You, you just sent all the invites out again, did you? Yeah, but you're in the lobby, so you're all right. Right, yeah. It's a good job I'd not pressed start then, isn't it? Yeah. Because we know what happened last time that happened. Yep. He has, he's in. And let's go. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13... I, I tell you what, for all the shit that happened last night, I thoroughly enjoyed last night. It's one of the best races I, yeah, in the season. Yeah, I, I thought for the eight drivers, there was a lot of stuff happening. Yeah, I had real pace last night. Mm, proper no, pace. You did, you did. You did. Nicky, good results to say he didn't have pace. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was more about my tangles with Daniel Francis. And um, I, I only had two laps to go in the lead. I don't think I would have held Fury off. But, um, I mean, I think he was excited for a race because I had pace, you know? Um, yeah. And yeah, we kind of denied that. But all in all, I thoroughly enjoyed last night, actually. No, I thought it was good racing as well, to be fair. Mm. Oh, Ask Peaceful just text me saying, no monkey question mark. That's a good point. There isn't a monkey boy in that lobby. So that's another one that's missing. Mm. Oh, quickly. Right, you're going to go live. Yep. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Simplay Motorsport here for the GT3 penultimate round at Dubai for the Pro Series and uh, as you would have just seen quickly there on screen we have a returning face obviously he's registered for season three pulled out earlier in the season but he's back for tonight will he be back for next week as well it's Mazda 917 in the Simplay Racing BMW Disco has a teammate tonight can they uh, what can Mazda do a few weeks or months out being a bit rusty what can he do but we are here, we are live in the night time of Dubai like we was last night for the Pro-Am. Eight drivers then, we have ten tonight and a few more on the way, hopefully a little each. Jamie Brazier who's currently having his tea at the moment and uh, not heard from Monkey Boy. No though, the big news tonight is no Gary131. Um, as much as Unorthodubs doesn't believe that, no Gary131 tonight. So we'll have to see what happens in terms of the championship, which, if results go Dan's way, can be won tonight. I'm Matthew Duffin, your commentator, as always, on a Thursday night. And I'm joined in my commentary box. Well, I say my commentary box, our commentary box. It's sweet and sticky. It's Kelly Davis with us, as always. Hello, mate. I'm glad you said our commentary box, because I've been here all season, so yeah. I, feel like, I feel like it's ours. Yeah, it is ours, isn't it? It's not right, Tom. Yeah, it is, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. We're a team, man. Yeah, yeah. We are, we, we, I tell you what, we'll come up with a name for everybody. Um, we're Sweet and Sticky, then we've got Sweet and Thicky, which is me and Liam, and, uh, and <laughs> Sweet and sweet and Laggy, which is me and Jamie on a Friday night. So, you know, we've got all the names here. Not Thicky for that reason, Thicky because of his... Uh, yeah. <laughs> thicky because of what Liam comes out with at times, and I know people are going to think that sounds wrong, but... Thick in the head, I'm on about. Thick in the head for all the people who are. Uh, You're taking a hole, mate. You're taking a yeah. hole. And me and Haley are pointing ourselves here. How are you, Sweet Kelly? And thicky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me, why mute my mic a minute? Uh, well, 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 Kelly, well, Kelly has a good laugh about that. Well, we're here at Dubai tonight. We're here. We've got some great racing for you all to see. Ten drivers on the track. We're hoping for a few more later on. And what we have as well is uh, the 20 minute practice session right now followed by the 10 minute qualifying session we've got Fiori's uh, granddad Tony Michael Matthews aka Peaceful Explosion Kelly Davis and Disco with Disco Face all in the party that is a little each we've got into the session so little each is with us nice to see Craig join us uh, I'm going to run you through the championship order while we wait for Kelly to just, uh, just I'm, I'm good I'm just good I'm back I've got a control of it 
Yeah, let's let's go through the good. championship standings. On Orthodox leads the way, 25 points ahead of Gary 131. But as we know, no Gary 131 tonight. D Biggs in third place, 42 points behind his teammate. Is that now the team battle done? And is Dan going to be the lead driver in these last two races? D uh, Big Boy Bracey then. Can he get? Can he eat his dinner and get on before he uh, before race one starts? He's still mathematic mathematically in with a chance of winning this title. Little Each as well can win the title. But that one is a long shot. 98 points behind with 104 points up for grabs. Peaceful Explosion then is in sixth place. 10 points clear of his teammate with Disco Medisco facing P8. Rabbit Joe, P9, but he's unavailable for this one. I knew he was unavailable for this week. Um, this week should have been the finale at Monza, but obviously due to a football match a few weeks ago, we postponed obviously our week behind. Sutty Apex N comes in P10 with Emo Guy in P11, who's obviously had PS4 problems and not been able to get that sorted for the rest of the season. Andy in P12 with that Bozzy Boy P13. Phil in P14, Walshie P15, and then you've got Keegs in P16 with Mazda in P17 this season then and he's back on the track Kelly and uh, in the BMW obviously as the team sim play racing or uh, as their bottom of the constructors but it's good to see a familiar face back out on the track absolutely absolutely and uh, we've got plenty to talk about tonight uh, yeah uh, not only are we in for some really good racing but there is some characteristics to this track which makes it a little bit more tricky than normal Indeed, um, they do. The Constructors' yes. title is shake and bake yes. leads away by 81 points from the Leachy Legends. That title as well can be wrapped up tonight. I am Racing are then third with GQ Motorsport fourth, Class of 97 fifth, Straight Line Racing sixth, Run Flat Racing seventh, and Simplay Racing down in P8 tonight. As that buzzy boy, look at that for a practice time. That's not a bad Ooh, lap. Oh, yeah. That's some not a bad lap yeah. at all, is it? Some serious pace from Liam Early Doors. Mm, indeed, indeed. Um, let's see if he can continue that. So um, it's, it, I think it's a little bit more of a level playing field tonight. Yes. Um, um, up and down the board because um, uh, Dubai has, has, has certainly thrown up some interesting uh, uh, scenarios. Uh, I mean, cracking race last night. I thoroughly enjoyed last night's race. I mean, I was a fan of this track to start with. It's not a great favourite with a lot of the uh, lot of the drivers um, but the uh, the buzzword this evening is going to be tyres yes and this um, is what me and Jamie were saying last night about yeah. tyres will win you this race and I've said it all week and I said it last night I'll say it again now I don't think qualifying is that important around here no. I think it's no. your tyre management that can win or lose you this race absolutely and um uh, it's extremely hard on tyres, this one. Now, all these guys, mostly, um, should be running the hard tyres. We're, uh, we're in Dubai, which is warm, and um, uh, this track is, is really, really abrasive. Um, so they'll all be running the hard tyres, right? Mm. And you can burn these hard tyres out in a lap and a half round here, yeah. or you certainly can in the Porsche, and I think the Merc is, is worse. Um, I don't know about the Beamer or the Audi, but... Um, um, yeah, the, the tyres suffer. Um, sector one is particularly hard on the tyres. So um, it's going to be about tyre management tonight. And as you said, it's those who keep their tyres in, in good shape um, are the ones that are going to do well, are going to have pace all the way round. So I think it levels things out a little bit. We could see the likes of Liam with a podium tonight, if not a win on this one. It does, and you know the car, and we've said this all season, but seriously tonight, that Ginetta and Acora, with them being that bit slower and not as aggressive on their tyres, have a real opportunity here tonight. Now, as we found out last week or the week before, Phil has ran majority of this season, so you just caught on board to him, just as I was about to say his name, yeah. brilliant. This is why we're, the chemistry's too That's good, why we're Kelly. a team, man, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Sweet, sweet and sticky. Not sweet and sticky. <laughs> Let's not go there again. <laughs> Okay. Phil has ran the season on soft tyres, bar the wet races, so he has done a stellar job to have yeah. good pace. And let's not forget, Phil's had some fourth and fifth places this year mm. in that Accora. Yep. So he, he's done a mega job in that car. This and the Ginetta tonight, uh, maybe the BMW as well, actually, looking at the two BMWs on the track, could be really good on their tyres. And that is the key around here, is this tyre management that we're saying. This could be a track where we could see maybe the first Accora podium and how nice that would be. One thing that I'm really interested at, looking at the timing screens at the moment, I know we're eight and a half minutes in, is that buzzy boy is only six tenths off the back of Dan. Yeah. That is some absolutely. good pace from Liam at this moment in time. That's a cracking good pace indeed, but... Um... Um, again, you know, it's uh, 
it, it's going to be about the tyre management, but as I said, it's going to even things out a little bit. Um, and um, it, it's not a track, as I said, I don't think it's a driver favourite by a long shot. So a lot of these guys don't drive this regularly. So it's also going to be about who knows the track and who learns yes. quickly. Yeah. You know, so yeah, that's also going to be a factor. So, Another thing yeah, I will it, say, Kelly, is the drivers hmm. may be more thankful that this is at the night. Could you imagine yeah. Dubai in the middle of the day as we oh. normally run? That would be soaring temperatures. And they, yeah. that you possibly would see a tyre change, if not a two-stop at one stage. But yeah. they're more thankful that it's the night, the fact that the temperature is a bit cooler so they can sort of get to grips with it. Because, if, like you say, if they're not used to the track, they've got to learn the track and yeah. learn the tyres at the same time. Absolutely. So um, lots of factors to key into uh, uh, putting a good result together tonight. So we'll see who can do it. Indeed. And um, at, the, at the moment, as you say, Liam is. I mean, Dan's gone quicker. Yeah. Um, Dan's now a second clear of Liam, which is, re is which is quite impressive from Daniel anyway. Um, and we'll see where um, uh, D Biggs, Little Leach, and um, well, if Jamie can finish his his, um, um, his fish fingers, then he can. <laughs> uh, we'll see where he is as well. Because if, if Liam's doing that kind of pace, then yes. yeah, you can you can know that uh, that Jamie would be. Um, you know, with no disrespect yeah, it, to Liam whatsoever, we would be in front of that. If, if Liam's doing that, what's Jamie doing yeah. sort of thing? Liam, exactly. though, uh, is a second down on Dan, but eight tenths ahead of Disco Mc Disco Face uh, it, so far in the qualifying session. Then the three cars, Disco, Peaceful and Andy, all separated by a couple of hundreds, if not thousands, between Peaceful and Disco. Then you've got Master and his BMW down in P6. D Biggs is currently seventh. Sutty eight, Fleur Leach ninth. Phil tenth and Welsh eleventh. As we say, evening to Fury, the Pro-Am champion. Next week should be interesting, he says, and Daniel Francis as well. Uh, just a reminder, we are watching the track limits around here. Obviously, Daniel Francis, uh, one of the pro stewards for the pro footage. And uh, unlike the Pro-Am last night, who had the track limits on based off of what happened in the Pro-Am at Le Mans, uh, what Daniel says is right here. The, you know, track limits are off for these pro guys as they was at Le Mans, and, and track limits will be monitored, especially on the stream. Um, yeah, the, the curbs, there's, there's a few places that you, that you can run wide um, if you have the opportunity. And as you said, track limits were on for Pro-Am last night, so we didn't get the opportunity. But out of the last, uh, the Pomultimate corner um, is quite easy to run wide. Um, at the top of the um, first sector is quite easy to run wide um, or, or just out of the double right-hander. When we do a, do a, a lap, I'll say what I mean. Um, but... Um, other than that, the, the entry curves or the, the apex curves are really quite high. And it does you no favours mm. by getting up on top of them, to be fair. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. As I, Andy has popped yeah. in a time, just a tenth and a half off the back of an altered up. Wow. So good lap from Andy. We know Andy's got Very good some lap. great one lap pace at times. Can he? He's had this trouble of getting that Janetta together in a race, hasn't he? He has, yeah. Um, we, we, we all know Andy from old. He's, um, he, he's quick. He's... Uh, um, been racing with one hand behind his back with this with this Janetta really but you know on a one lap pace he can usually turn out um, a very good lap and to be just a tenth and a half off Dan who's in the in the Porsche is um, that's really quite impressive it is indeed at the minute and so Liam drops down to P3 but still though we have to take our hats off to Liam the only man in the 57s because the two in front are in the 56s and everybody behind are a couple of tenths off that 57 is here's the returning face then of Mazda Currently P6, yep. not raced for a while, he was telling us before we came on air. He's a little bit rusty and um, 158.7. I mean, it's not a bad time, but I'm sure he'd have liked to be up there a little bit closer to the other guys. Well, yes, it's... it's. I, I, I'll, I'll just turn around and say that I I was achieving 158 in practice, so um, Mazda's better than that, do you know what yeah. I mean? But yeah. as you say, he's rusty, doesn't really know the track, so... And, and this is a practice session. Do you know what I mean? He may not be... Yeah. Um, this is what he's he got the 20 be, minutes uh, to do at the moment is just to get exactly. them laps in and get yeah. the practice there. And yeah. we may see him in qualifying have a different animal underneath him. But, I mean, just based off of what we're seeing at the minute, he's, he's, he's giving it some through these corners and doesn't look like he's yeah. lost a lot of it. I mean, the racecraft's still there. Whether that pace, like you say, learning yeah, the track, drive, tweaking drive, the setup. Yeah. D yeah. Biggs, D yeah. Biggs and Little Each at the minute are a bit of a shock to me tonight, though, so far. Seventh and ninth currently. Um again practice session are we going to see a bit more from them as they go forward what's the situation going to be with them guys but at the minute um, not running where we expect to see them and 
It's D-Biggs playing that rear gunner for Dan. I mean, Dan at the minute, his other two big title rivals aren't here, so... Yeah, no. Dan, D Biggs doesn't need to be that rear gunner. He could probably have his own free race, but, I mean, a free race from seventh is, is a tricky old run for him as little each year. Yeah, going deep. Look yeah. out, track limits. Struggling in that Porsche, looks to be, at the minute. Just looks a bit... Yeah, I, I tell you what, Matt, I, I jumped on earlier in the week at my first kind of spins round here and, and I downloaded a setup off a, off a, a, a well-known site that a lot of people use for setups. Mm. And I tell you what, I couldn't do better than a 202 in that. Now, 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 um, que now question for you, because a little birdie has told me that yeah. you came on for a bit of testing earlier this week and, and, and loaded up the wrong circuit. Um, well... Yes, that's because um, a little commentator made made a little, little bit of an error at the end of last week's um, um, <laughs> at last week's race and said, "Join us next week for Dubai International." And I went, "Oh, I quite like the GP track." So I, I did a little bit of practice on the international, and then I, I, I hooked up with Dan at the weekend because he um, yeah um, uh, we did an event together and. Um, he said, what sort of lap times are you doing? I said, well, yeah, I'm in the 135s. And he's like, what? 135? He said, what track are you going around? I said, the International. He said, no, 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 it's GP. I'm like, oh, right, okay. But I'm... as it happens, I prefer the GP to the International anyway. There we go. That I thought that just the track was called to buy International before you got then to your separate right. layouts. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was yeah. just the track name. It's not, it's to buy Autodrome. Um, That's so right. Yeah. I was wrong. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, but and, uh, and as little each goes into the wrong, so, Yeah, then that so made I you wrong. You. Yeah, bl yeah, I blame Liam. Yeah, there we go, I enough would. said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> enough said at the moment then about yeah. that one as uh, little each into the pits. Well, she's improved from P11 ahead yeah. of little each and Phil at the moment into P9 and spoke with well she previously last week. He's, he, he says, I, I want to stay in the pro. I want to learn. I want to adapt my racecraft. I can't wait to be back in the pro-am that we said. <laughs> I can't wait two things. I, I can't wait to, to be in the pro-am. I can't wait to be back yeah. in my Lamborghini, he said. He says, I miss yeah. my Lamborghini. Uh, okay. Um, the, just just finishing off what I was saying there just before, I'm one of my early practice on the GP track, um, as I said, I, I downloaded a setup. Couldn't do better than a 202. Um, then I had a chat to Dan and took Dan's setup and immediately, first lap out, put a, put a, a, a two-minute. And then... Uh, I mean, my best, very best laps, I did a couple of 58, mid-58s mm. um, in that, which I was reasonably pleased with. But, made, I mean, setup is still important. Is, yeah. little, Leech, is little Leech just sandbagging a bit? Um, or is he? Is the setup not working for him? Well, based off what he's just put in the chat, no practice and half-court are here after celebrating. would say that he's had maybe one or two, don't drink and drive, kids, but one nope. or two after celebrating, obviously, some good news. His peaceful stepdad says good evening, yeah, well, everyone, as well. So maybe well, the no what practice... News and... that? What news is that? What is the news? Um, so I, we we, I, we I, can't I, all celebrate if we don't know. I know, but I don't know if... Well, let's let Leachie tell us. Said. Yeah, well, we'll see if... We'll see if um, yeah, Monkey Boy's in the session. So that's good to see. Twelve drivers on track. Yep. Um, we'll see if he does say. If he does say, brilliant, and we can all celebrate. I know the news, but obviously it's not for. He's not said anything to me in terms of on the stream sort of stuff. So I'll leave it for him to either text me or post. Right. Okay. Well, Leachy, we need to know. Can Matt tell us? Or oh, handy, that was a bit of a wiggle. Um, or put it up on the chat, something like that. If you're half cut and celebrating, let's know what you're celebrating. And then we can all get half cut. And and again, important message: don't drink and drive out there, kids. You may spill it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! And if you're going to buy yeah. it, buy it from Kelly's Jimbo. Absolutely, absolutely, and and, and buy one for me as well. Why are you there? Yeah, not you know, a sponsor. Let's all get one in. Not anyway, a not a sponsor yet. No, um, yet. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Different company, but but yeah. One day yeah. someone from Simplay will talk to me about it. Yes, I need to. Um, I need to actually have a chat with you. But I was probably. Yeah, I'll yeah, probably, yes. I'll, apparently so. Yeah. I'll probably yeah. just give you an important vi uh, video call. I'll put my suit on and make it look all businesslike. Oh yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd buy be cool. my buy my suit. I mean my Honda top, Honda yeah. jacket, Honda hat. Yeah. Well, that's that's certainly put me off already, isn't it? <laughs> and will and and again, <laughs> hang on, let's just have a little. Let's just have a little. Uh, I'll pick a little bone with you. Plato-esque last night. Plato-esque. Yes, you said you was going to have me last night I've forgotten you. I've forgotten you, Duffin. Don't you worry about that. Look, 
I saw what you did to BT Targer and Daniel Francis. We're not going to go. <laughs> we're not going to go into the finer details because obviously wow. there are things wow. under foot under review at the moment. But I saw yeah. what you was doing last night, and I'd wow. be damned I, if I that got, wasn't Plato esque. Well, I got Matt Mealed by one of them again. Oh, there we go. go. Too has, much into it. He has. Oh, all. Okay. You watch yourself with Matt Neal in there. He has said, Baby Leach on the way. There you go. Ha ha. Oh, there we go then. So yeah. congratulations to Little Leach on the uh, a announcement. Little Leech of, having a Little Leach. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a, a Little Little Leach um, on a the little, way. A Little Leach. Yeah. Oh, so there nice we go one. then. Well done, congratulations uh, to, to Craig and, and. Absolutely. When did he partner? have time to do that? Well, busy, busy man is Craig, but you know, skills. Yeah. Skills. Yeah. Well, well. Um, yes. Well done. It was obviously it was obviously two minutes well spent. Well done, mate. <laughs> Congratulations though to you and the and the partner, the wife, the girlfriend, yeah. um, on on the, the on the brilliant Leech. news. Yeah, the Mrs. Leach, the Mrs. Yeah. Leach, the little Leach, and the little little Leach. Congratulations on that one. As oh, wow. Kieran so Argent, little leeches. Kieran Argent's <laughs> also in the chat, and is that why mm. there's no Gary drunk too much? No, Gary's at a race oh. event on his um, speedway stuff that Gary does, so that's where Gary yeah. is tonight. Nice to have I you hope, back, hope, Masters of Peace with Stepdad. No drink for Mrs. Leach, mind. Don't, she can have one. No, she, she's on strict rules she's, now. She's on the orange juice. Absolutely. I'm going to jump on with um, uh, with with D Biggs for a, yeah. for a lap. Go for um, it. So we're going down to start straight. Uh, Dubai Auto Drive. I like this track. It was FIA sanctioned this one. Um, three and a bit miles, quite a long lap. Downhill into turn one. I was in third gear, as is D Biggs. Accelerate. This is the hard section. Watch that curb. It'll unsettle the car. Look over to the cones. Pick up the apex in your eye view. Take off the throttle just slightly. Back on it again as you pick up the uh, apex. Left-hander, stay off the curb. You can run a bit of curb into this one, but not too much. Don't let it run out wide. This is a tricky one, not for doing track limits. Pull it right into the apex, unlike what D Biggs did there, and try and stay off the curb. Double apex for the next one before you get on the straight. Very important that you line this up right. You can go out wide, pull it in tight, drop right into the depths of the uh, apex, and then nail it on the way out. Run the curb slightly as you go down the back straight, uh, moving slightly towards the left-hand side as you take the, uh, the path of least resistance as you go towards the next corner, which is a hairpin right. Hit the brakes now, down a few gears. Come out late, pull up, and uh, go for the apex nice and late. Fantastically done. Come across the track again and back to the left. Tuck into the apex, but don't run wide. Yeah, very easy to run out on the right-hand side. Coming back over to the left again for another uphill right-hander. Again, late apex it. Come out wide, late apex, run out to the left-hand side. A little bit of a twitch there, but no harm done. Pull across to the right-hand side of the track. Next one's a left-hander. This is absolutely flat scat through here. And it's going to be another uphill braking zone. Break on the 50-meter board down a couple of gears. The apex almost goes out of sight like it does now. Pull it back in because it's a late one and it's tight on the way up. And uh, up round the right-hander, another one very easy to run wide on the left-hand side. Pit entry on the left. That's a 180-degree turn. Last corner is a uh, 90 right. And again, late apex. Pick it up, run out to the outside, and give it flat scat mm -hmm. down, this, down the straight. And if you're good... You'll be in the 56s. Which D Biggs wasn't. Only a 59.3 was his mm. best. As Jamie has just got in the session in time for qualifying Wee. then. Ideal. As, uh, Disco with Disco Face improved his time. Two thousandths slower than that Bozzy boy in the end. But we are just waiting these final few laps to come oh. in from these drivers. We just got a glance of Peaceful losing it. And he went back into the, uh, yeah. into the pits. So Phil running around in the... I'm still way off the pace in that Acora, but um, um, again, this is just practice. Just practice. Yeah. And like we've said, Kelly, we said earlier, I don't think the one-lap pace is anything. I it's think, not, yeah, it's, it's not the point yeah. tonight, for sure. Yeah, it's not... It's not The Acora's not at a disadvantage because it's slow. There's no grass here to cut, so the Acora's going to be, you know, looking for it. It, it is going to yeah. be a case of... If them tyres last on that car... Phil and Sutty could be in for a good result as Jamie Brazier gets himself or is going to get himself into the session just at the end. So gets himself in at the right time. Dan, though, setting the pace in practice and is possibly the pro champion to be. He's already the GT5 champion. I'll be waiting on the pro champion to go. We are waiting for somebody to press, to return, uh, to, to press ready up. As I don't have that button in front of me, I had to back out to get invites out. And here we go then. We are now live, ready for the qualifying session. Little each uh, said to you, two minute thirty seconds it took him, uh, not two minutes. Yeah. And he said in the chat, any setup advice? You're the Porsche driver, um, not me. Uh, who said that? Little each. 
Little Lucy's asking me for setup advice. <laughs> um, be careful on your tyres. Um, patience. Um, the way I run it last night, I mean, this is a race, isn't it? Look? Um, the way <laughs> the way I run this one last night is I went out um, on the hard tyres. I went out straight away. I was as quick as I could get out the pits. I was out. I did a, a warm up lap, nice and slow, um, and then did a eighty percent lap. Yeah, mm. and then I went out and nailed the third one. Um, so I got the tyres right into the window, get the pressures up, and then nailed it. Too many spins, too many off-track excursions is going to ruin these tyres, and then you've got to get them back in the window. So um, get them warmed up, then nail it. If you can, then do then back off one after they've had a heat cycle, and then go again. That was just my experience. Too many and problems. what did I do? Quali, third, third in quali mm. last night. I think I was 59 in quali, I think. Too many problems. You'll be like Kieran Argent, who only just got two laps on the board. And after what looked a good practice pace, put him well down in sixth for Q1. So you want to make sure you're out there because two yeah. minute a lap and, and 10, 10 minute session, you know, yeah. just over a two minute a lap, should I say, is an out lap because of the fact you've got to get out the pits. Yeah, it's yeah. not what you want to be doing. Is everybody bar no. Sutty is out on track. So this is going to lose. Sutty's already lost the best part of near enough his out lap here. And uh, this is costing him heavily. If he's waiting for a space. That one's gone because everybody's coming towards the back end of the circuit. What is this boy going to do then on his return tonight? We are going to be interesting to see. The timing screen is up on my phone, so I'll be able to see the purple sectors fly in. Now then, Dan quickest in praxis, but Jamie's here for the quali. Who's your money on for the pole position, Kelly? Dan. Your money's on Dan. Going for to the pole Dan. position. Two pole positions this season. An average of P4 in qualifying one for an orthodubs. Um, and I know you love a stat. Missed him last week. I thought yeah. I'd get, get him straight in this week before times are being set. Big boy Brazier, six pole positions to his name. The first boy this season to get back to... Ba Sorry, no, he's not. Fiori did that in round at Hockenheim. The first boy in the pro this season to get pro pole in both race one and race two of the same track due to his disconnection problems but he has six pole positions he averages p2 in qualifying one the best average in q1 of anybody so let's see what jamie can do then as sutty yeah. is now finally out the pits anybody else you'd like to know a rough qualifying pace of um um t biggs D Biggs, he averages P4 as well as Dan. No pole positions to his name, but the same average. I think Dan's average was ruined because he had a qualifying ban, if you remember, back at Hockenheim. Yeah. After yeah. his incident with Keegs at Daytona. So, yeah, interesting to see yeah. what he can do as he goes along. Yes, indeed, as we're on board with Jamie Brazier. Um, gonna have, uh, may have one of his records um, um, tumbled. Um, by Fury next week. Fury's now done 12, 12, yeah. 12 wins in a season. 12, 12 um, wins in a season. Equal to Jamie Brazier's. Equaling Jamie Brazier's record of 12 wins in a season. Um, but, um, oh, Jamie on a bit of a lag there as well, I think. Could have done it last he? night, but for, if Argent's still watching, could have done it last night, couldn't he, Argent? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Argent dive bombed him right at the last minute, didn't so, he? So, uh, yeah, so he, so he said. So he said. I was still. Yeah, I was still busy trying to make up places at that point, but uh, I wasn't really... Um, uh, yeah, I, I really, really focused on who ra won race two uh, until later in the evening. I kind of went, who won race two then? You know, and then I kind of, uh, yeah, looked back on it and um, I, I, I tend to watch the streams back. Oh, mm. this is painful to watch. I've got to move off this. Yeah, this is a bit painful to watch, is it? At the minute, my yeah. phone is up and down as people are going through the sectors at the minute. Dan in a 56-4 straight away, and Andy a 56-7. So not a bad banker lap for them yeah. to already. Disco in a 57-2, so that's a good lap from him. That'll be a bit quicker than his uh, practice pace. Big Boy Brazier then beats that one, but seven tenths off the back of an author and goes straight back to the pit, so that's not what he'd have wanted. Maybe going yeah. for a fresher set of tyres, pushing the outlap a bit harder. Peaceful in the pits not yet set a time. D Biggs go sixth. Sutty's back in the pits not yet set a lap time either. Yes, indeed. Um, as I said, I, I got my money on Dan to put this one on pole. Um, I think Dan has got exactly the right attitude um, about this track. And, and he, he was giving me some pointers um, for last night. And um, everything he said was was quite right. The, the patience on the tyres, the warm-up of the tyres. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I think he's got the attitude exactly right um, for this. I mean, 
you know, it's very easy to have patience. And, and mm. um, my first couple of laps, um, if, if you get an opportunity, go back and watch the Pro-Am racing from last night because I thought it was really cracking good racing. And I had a little bit of an instant with, that, with, um, with BT um, in, the first, in the first lap. And um, I then overdrove the car for a couple of laps and was just making silly mistakes. And it's very easy when, once the once the red mist is down that you that you you know uh, you get in that zone, don't you? Where yeah. you push, you push, push, push because you want to hurry up and make back what you've lost. And uh, it just doesn't pay you off. You have to be patient. You and do. Um, let's hope Dan can stay that way. Um, Dan's just gone purple yeah. in the middle sector just to say, Kevin, he's just crossed the yeah. timing screen there. Dan using all the track was uh, 50 50 across the white line. He's going to go deep on that one. And he's. Yeah, he's, he's, backed, out uh, yeah, he's backed out to that yeah, one and does back. not improve yeah. at all there. Liam up into P5, sat in the pits at the moment. He'll want to get out to get one more run in. Masters up in sixth place with E Big 7th, Little Each 8th, Walsh United, Phil 10th, Monkey Boy 11th. But Peaceful and Sutty. Peaceful's only just got back out the pit lane then. As Disco and Andy and Liam still in the pit. So they done and quite content with qualifying. But at the minute. Yeah. Peaceful's only just come out of the pits to do a lap. Sutty as well still hasn't got a lap on the board. And Little Each, according to my phone, purple in sector one, green sector two. So what can he do coming through this third sector? And let's see what he can do. Yes, yeah, so let's see what he can do. If he puts this up high, then I'll... then I'll. He's obviously taken my advice. He goes 1.1 seconds he quicker. quicker. And, uh, it only keeps Into him P8. Yeah, he's only down on the two-minute marker. Still one and a half off the back of Dear Biggs in front of him as that is uh, Mercedes of Monkey Boy coming out the pits, and Mazda, that bloody boy, Disco, and Andy still in the pits. If they want to get a lap in, they need to be coming out the pit lane now. That is Andy. Yep. That is the BMW of Mazda. So Disco and Liam, are they quite content with their qualifying pace and leaving it in the pit lane then? Because um, there is no movement from that bloody boy, and you have to say he's got to get out within these next couple of seconds to get a lap in. Yep. Don't know how they're going to. No. So Liam there then, and Disco not coming out for another run. They're still stationary in the pitch. You see the two white dots at the track parked up. That is them, too peaceful and sooty. Still don't have a lap on the board. Now surely Sutty's coming to the end of, of a flying lap. He's... Uh, wait, uh, where is Sutty on track? He's not gone um, through sector one yet, according to my phone. Um, I am trying to keep an eye on it. As there he is, oh, look. Oh, oh, just, oh, he's, yeah, oh he's back to the pits. Sutty, yes, that's that. He's going to yes, start from the back. going to start from the back. He's not going to get a lap in. So, Sutty then will not be qualified. Will not get a qualifying lap in in this race. What a shame for Sutty then. But 13th place that ruined that. Well, it does, yeah, it ruins his average down tip from 9th to 10th, an average of Q1. Peace was the other one who's got to set a lap time. It isn't yet. That buzzy boy's come out the pits. Um, I think that's too late. Yeah. Sutty and Disco are still it in. Is too it's, late. Yeah, it's way too late. Peaceful now, yeah. just behind Unorthodox here has got to get this lap right to get a lap on the board otherwise he'll be starting P12 on board with Dan though what can he do yeah. at the moment now, no improvement a, just yet um, yeah incidentally I mean he had a very slow last lap so I reckon he's just called the tyres for a well, lap he went, he he went wide didn't he the lap before so I yeah, wonder if he, he went, backed he out went, the whole he went lap wide. Yeah. yeah but I reckon he probably when he went wide probably thought to himself I'll have a, um, a cool down lap to cool the tyres and go again so I mean, he's going to get another lap after... Oh, I don't know if he will, actually, get another lap after no, this I one. Think, I think uh, I think this is going to be so it. The, yeah, this is going to be his best effort. Um, so we'll see what he can do. Big Boy Brazier, uh, purple we'll... in the middle sector at the minute. As Dan improves his sector one time, it's not purple, but Big Boy Brazier was purple in sector two. He's about to cross the line here and improves and improves. goes pole by two tenths of oh. a second just nabbing it away from Dan so Dan's got to do something special now what a lap from Big oh, Boy Brazier there yet. then bit of a wiggle there for Dan he's not going to get that one done and he's nah, very that. wide there that is that one done yeah, Dan it. backs out of it and that has gave Jamie the upper hand in this title fight can Andy gain the couple of tenths he needs to yeah, remember what we said about it's not about quality no no this is true but the advantage, isn't it? It's that psychological mentality going into the race of just being pipped at the last minute as Andy goes quickest of anyone in sector one. It ain't over yet. It, it ain't, ain't over, over yet. yet. Andy can no. do this. Where's Liam on track? Did he manage to get past the line? Oh, no, no. just a bit short. No. So Liam just missed out on the on the qualifying run there. Monkey boy uh, in front of Andy this here. Could spoil, this could spoil Andy's lap. 
This it really could. could he's I tell you what it could, though. It could help him. With that Ginetta being a bit slower in the straight line, with there being a few straights nah. around here, it could give him the toe. He's holding him up now. Yeah, we'll have to see. Is it coming up towards the Sector 2 timing line? What will the time be as he comes across? Green Sector 2, so, I mean... He's not over and done. He's going to pass him now, yeah. yeah. He's got, it, got him passed, but it puts him puts him in, in, you know, in the wrong position on track. He had to go down the inside of it. Um, he's going to have to do something spectacular in the last sector, if you ask me. Ooh. Monkey goes a bit wide. Easy to do it there. Very easy. Andy then, round the final corner. Is this going to be a front row? Oh, it's no. wide. So no, he should get wide. out. He should get off of that one and back out of that. He goes pole. It was quickest. He went quickest. Yeah, nine thousandths of a second. So Andy then does take the pole position at the death. And that's going to demote mm. Dan Dan to P3. Now, some may say that he should have got out of that one there as he ran so wide. Yeah, track limits there, um, yeah. Matt, isn't it? He was well out of the track. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't close. He was well out the track. Yeah, he was very, very wide. And back out of it, maybe. But what he's done is done. Andy then will take the pole. Nine ten thousandths quicker than Jamie Brazier. Then it's Dan, two tenths back. So what a fight we could have on our hands. Disco P4 for himself. Not a bad qualifying as that Buzzy boy then is in P5. Uh, D Big sixth in the end. Not seeing much of D Bigs in qualifying, but quiet from him as Mazda then will qualify seventh on his return. Uh, we then have Peaceful Explosion who did get a lap in and got it up to P8, thankfully, in the end. Uh, Little each down in ninth, so not the qualifying he'd have wanted to get. Phil though. P10. Oh, excuse me. P10 for Phil. As we know, his teammate starts P13. Monkey Boy qualified in 11th place. He improved at the end as well. And Welsh, he will start P12. So, um, yeah, a few drivers got there. Yeah, got to, got to be said. Liam in fifth. He's got some big names behind him. You know, D Biggs, Master, Little Leach. You know, all those, you know, <laughs> very much front runners. Yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, yeah, he's out qualified all of them. So let's, let's, let's hope Liam can have a cracking good race, shall we? Yeah, let's have a cracking good race as well as Andy was saying. Nothing gained through the last corner. So, uh, obviously, say he, he'll know he saw his delta. He'll know that he lost time on his own on his own screen Ooh. to, uh, to yeah. Daniel Francis ran some laps at Monza today with track limits on. Didn't flag me uh, once, and I did take a lot of kerb uh, and push two wheels off at the last corner. So if on next Good week won't make a lot, if if track limits run for the program next week won't make a lot of difference to a normal lap. So uh, I Good suppose I, I suppose from admin side of things, because like I've seen their post earlier saying from Daniel saying that Shane we couldn't have two wheels just running the curbs a bit more last night, um, but the game doesn't allow you to do it. It's good to know that Monza yeah. allows you to. I know that some tracks are different, aren't they? Like we know from Knock Hill. You can't yeah. take the touring car line at the knock hill at the chicane because it'll ping what, you. You mean the touring car line where you just like jump over the, just, over just the curb? Hit that sausage curb and go two yeah. wheels and then land the thing yeah. as you hit the brakes into the next corner because it'll Brilliant ping you. You have that. to sort of take the chicane properly then. We'll get back to yeah. that in a moment though as Team Prolapse are in the chat as well. Come on, Dan. It's lights out and away we go here for the first race tonight. Look at Liam get a good launch. Dan has to cover that one off immediately and into the side of Disco he went. Was there anything come of that? No, but Disco very unhappy and gives Dan a bit of a flash. Liam keeping to his line as he put down under a bit of pressure early doors Dan then up the inside of Andy and that one side by side going into turn one and oh. that's Liam and Disco and Little Each and Welshie all off and Disco a huge flash of the lights clearly disgruntled and I think Mazda was involved as well and that isn't great to see but Liam I'm not sure what happened to that first corner but he ended up now P13 as he said a good evening to Dean Wasaki as well as Nicky in the chat and already here, guys, 18 viewers, 13 likes. Let's hit that thumbs up button. But already a few bits of uh, d d d strange driving off the line. Dan, especially yeah. uncharacteristically, sort of coming right across Disco. Uh, yeah, um, absolutely. Um, yeah, all a, bit, uh, all a bit of pushing and shoving for the pros, that one. All a bit messy for them. Um, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> it happens sometimes, I suppose. But uh, Jamie was the man... Um, who benefited Dan, mm. Dan up into second and he went back a place or went back two places should I say but he's still there in third D Biggs um, cracking yeah. start from him up into fourth place stayed out of all the uh, carnage 
and Disco uh, seemed to be right in it as well, but he's still in fifth and on the back of these guys. So, um, yeah, it worked out for some, but not for others, really. Yeah, Liam, the biggest loser, as was Mazda. Look, they've dropped down the pack. Liam's yeah. battling with Welsh at the minute further down the pack. Their names keep chopping and changing uh, down the order they go, but it's Dan, Big Boy Brazier. That's the fight at the moment now. What's Dan's strategy here? Does he push hard? Jamie can control this pace. Mm. And ultimately, yep. Dan's got to work his tyres a bit harder well, to get past Jamie. Well, if Dan um, if Dan runs the race that he's talking, then he should be getting his tyres up for temperature and being patient. Um, you know, he's in a um, good position there. Um, as a lot of them run wide on that last corner. Tut, 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 tut. We couldn't get away with that last night. And uh, Dan giving a flash of the lights. So mm. is he feeling racy at the end of race uh, lap one? We'll have to wait and see if Dan is feeling racy or not. We'll have to keep our eyes on that one. Andy still third ahead of D Biggs. Disco still fifth. Clearly not a lot of damage if your Disco I mean, Disco face done to that car. But if you're that Bozzy boy and Mazda, there may be some damage done as Bozzy then. He's trying to keep up with the back of the Accords. And here we go. He's looking racy, trying to get past Sutty Apex already here. But what he doesn't want to do is use them tyres too much. He's got Walshie and Mazda not far behind him. And for that Bozzy boy at the moment, he's trying to attack the Accords as well as stay uh, ahead of Walshie and keep his tyres in good check and we all know you use your tyres a bit more when you're attacking and defending but uh, yeah. Liam clearly just wants to get back, get his places back that he's lost yeah absolutely and we'll keep on his progress we keep uh, we keep um, cheering him on uh, he may have to be like uh, peaceful and get some sort of um, some sort of grunt noise when we go yeah. on to him <laughs> from now on because we were just bigging him up at the beginning of the race and how well he did uh, to qualify in fifth and it's all gone terribly wrong and he's yeah. in uh, 11th and, and 15 seconds off the pace in the first lap uh, in the first two laps so, oh who's that oh, oh that's oh, literally that's, that's, oh. oh and that's taken taking Liam as well oh wow that is a huge hit there Little Leach and Phil both off of the circuit Liam passed Sutty there as he got sort of punted across the corner not sure what happened there but Little Leach and Phil just seen going to the wall huge damage on their cars Liam as well got the brunt of Craig sort of bouncing off the wall straight into the side of Liam that was crazy yeah. Just looking uh, back yeah, yeah. at my uh, second screen yeah, now, yeah. and yeah. we're on board with Liam, and just as the camera angle changes, you see, look, Phil and Sutty in the wall, yeah. and bang across track, and Liam is there, has to have has to take through the shot. I mean, I'm surprised he's not gave Sutty the place back yet. We're on board Disco yeah. on the back of D Biggs for P3, P4 Ooh, and 5, who's having yeah. a cracking scrap, but wow, that was a huge shunt in the wall. Yes, indeed. We, we're on with we were on board with Disco. He was rubbing door handles with uh, with D Biggs. These uh, pro guys are going for it tonight. There's um, yeah, lots of incidents, lots and lots. Not sure what's happened to Sutty then, but he's lost out to Walshy and Master there. Uh, in the in the meantime, he obviously wasn't involved in that incident, but maybe a bit of a spin on his own behalf. Master still trying to follow Walshy. Is Phil and Little each in the pits? They've both got to pit again, and let's not forget because they before the pit window of lap five here as Master at uh, Disco. Sorry, not used to seeing the two BMWs on track. Disco trying <laughs> to get past D Biggs. Uh, Andy yeah. has got got ahead of these guys. Andy's on the back of Daniel. In fact, Dan has, well, uh, I say Daniel on all. Oh, Dan's made a mistake. Yeah, he, he must have done. Mistake, Andy just has back. the run. Look at this. Yeah, that Dan's just dropped that somewhere because I was watching their times, and Dan was uh, was a second and a half in front of Andy. Um, so Dan's had a little bit of an incident somewhere, um, which has left Andy to uh, uh, to catch up. But this isn't over. Dan's up the inside. Uh, where are they on track? Andy's got the the Andy's, inside yeah. line for the next corner. Um, but there is a switchback available there. I know it because I did it. Um, there is, and they've got this good long run now where Dan should have yep. the pace over Andy because of the difference in the cars down this straight line. But if Andy can keep it there, he will be up the inside again for the left-hander yep. coming up. And indeed he does, a bit later on the brakes than Dan and Dan. Just maybe a bit earlier to try and tuck back in for that switch back. Can't get it done. Andy again on the right side to get the right-hander now as they head towards the last corner. And this has allowed Jamie to just stretch his legs a little bit whilst keeping his tyres in check. Yes, indeed. He uh, gives him a breathing space for sure. As um, yeah, Dan all over the place. He's he, he's up on some corners and back, but just can't make the move stick. He's in the slip now. He's going to have a crack down this one. But again, he's on the outside. He's going to have to clear him before he gets to the braking zone. And uh, has he got it done? Yes, he has. I think the Porsche power just uh, um, just quicker than the Genetta there. But Andy's not going to let him yeah. go very easily. That's for certain. Sure. Quick jump back. 
Oh, to, uh, Disco's just Disco's got, got D just got, yeah. Just got him on the straight. That would be the BMW power over the Porsche. BMW being a quicker car in a straight line than Porsche. Um, and look who's so, in the background of them two as well. Peaceful trying to get on the back of yeah. D Biggs and Disco at the moment. Mazda's got past Welchie and that Bozzy Boy. So up to P8 is Mazda trying to hunt down Monkey Boy now. And is is that Bozzy Boy waiting as they look? Little each comes out the pitch just yeah. ahead of that Bozzy Boy. And I mean, his car, car will be his car up. will be fixed. Not yeah. visually, but it will be fixed yeah. on his screen. Um, it, Look at the state uh, of it. Yeah, you've always said the Porsche is a horrible car when broken. It is. It is. It looks like a like a, a very ugly Micra, and, the, and a, a Micra is ugly enough on its own. Now, um, question here no, no. for you, Kelly: Is Liam waiting to the pit window to get in the pits and repair that damage that we assume he may have on that car off that big shunt? Well, he was hit in the side, and I don't know how much damage he's going to have. But he was hit in the side, although it did lift the car off the ground. Yeah. And, um, and, uh, and D. Biggs has got back in front of Disco. Disco made a mistake. He may have uh, done because Peaceful's yeah. all over the back of him now as right well. Right over the back of him. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and as I say, D. Biggs back in front. D. Biggs, Mr. Consistent in the pro, um, doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Um, um, and, uh, you know, usually capitalises on that. Yeah. But uh, is Peaceful going to have a go? Um, he's having on, a look on he's disco. on the outside and Disco yeah. just gives him just, just enough room just and, enough uh, room yeah, yeah just enough room and Peaceful has to wait again for this one to be done but D-Big's not on the pace of these guys the front runners tonight he looks like no. he's struggling struggled in practice struggled in quality and doesn't have the pace in this race just was fortunate of a few incidents at the start to be up into P4 but at the minute he's doing what he needs to do and he's in a good little fight with these two as the guys up front are gone and he has lost out to da uh, on Orthodox as well at the moment who's two and a half seconds behind Jamie on track further down the order Monkey Boy kind of on his own and that Bozzy Boy trying his best to stay with Mazda but just not good enough at the moment uh, yes indeed I I'm wondering if Daniel's setup. I mean the, 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 the setup that Daniel's running I presume is exactly the same setup as he gave me and uh um, as I say, I had a cracking night on it last night, so yeah. I wonder if his setup is just really, really good, you know, and, and maybe I should have sold it um, before the beginning <laughs> of this race to uh, Little Leach and D Biggs, um, yeah. because they, they can't seem to have to set all oh, as D Biggs um, gets a little bit uh, sideways, and yeah, this gives dis a Disco an opportunity up the inside. Oh, and he takes and, it. Uh, takes and he does it well. take it. Ooh, oh, a bit of a slide for D Biggs. Oh, and a flash well. of the... Flash of the last. Yeah, is that a flash from that Disco was... to say sorry? I mean, the, the, there was a there was a gap open. I, I think that looked more like an aggressive flash, as to say, "Oh, what was that all about?" You know, but uh, who yeah, knows? Yeah, who knows? Who, who Reading does the flashes. Know. This BMW. Yeah. Oh, that's allowed peaceful through as well. Look, peaceful up ahead yeah. of D Biggs as well. This BMW looks uh, looks good value for its money at the moment tonight. As peaceful taking a bit of a tighter line than he might have wanted. As D Biggs looked around the outside, and now he's going to look back up the inside and. Peaceful trying to hang it around the outside and the three German monsters here all going at it. BMW, Mercedes and Porsche and again D Biggs just gaining on the back of Peaceful into the braking zone and back on the power now as they head down this little stretch with a bit of a left hand kink in it but like Kelly said in qualifying or practice it is flat scat. D Biggs here, is he going to look for the late lunge? Peaceful's covered him off Goes. early doors yeah. and uh, has made sure that doesn't happen Ooh. but gets a bit of a slide Ooh. into the Go entry on, of the corner. And that, He's got hold of it. That little nice. slide is going to really hurt his tyres. Just that Absolutely. little slide. Love, lovely to look at, but but doesn't do his tyres any good. Um, and you know, and it's uh, it's 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 a fine art to go sideways and forwards at the mm. same time. Oh, um, D Biggs. D -Biggs. Yeah. Uh, D Biggs is struggling. He really is. He really is with this is. with this setup. Look as Peaceful's pulling away from him. Um, yeah, we know he, the Mercedes uh, is good in a straight line, Kelly, but um, not that good yeah, over the Porsche in a straight good. line. Not, is, uh, not, over, not in the hands of D-Biggs, no, not really. No, not in, no, not so, in the hands of D-Biggs especially. But uh, yeah. D-Biggs, yeah, what can he do tonight? Damage imitation. So he's got ahead of that Bozzy boy once again here. As uh, the Acura's doing well. Ignore that one. Liam then, the first man to pit inside the pit window then and is pitted at the end of the fifth lap. So here's the first man in. And I yeah, suppose that little... is a wise choice. Yeah, probably. And uh, let's see how quick his pit stop is. Um, uh, tricky little pit entry here. It's uh, 180 degrees as you come round. And, um, yeah, tricky little one. We saw a few people spin um, in the pit lane um, throughout the uh, the course of the week, um, getting used to it. So long stop, long stop. 
But he's definitely uh, uh, got some damage on that car yeah, that he is having yeah. to repair. So mm. probably sensible that Liam's got it out of the way now. So he's got the majority of the race to push on them tyres. Yeah. Back to Disco and Peaceful. Look, Disco getting all over the kerb. Peaceful staying with them and they're not dropping D Biggs. Disco very, very wide and Peaceful has the run. Very wide. Up the inside yeah. here then. We'll be on the outside at this left, at this right hander coming up. Disco gets Switch that back. job done. D Biggs trying to look as well. All over the kerb was D Biggs here. Now yeah. then, good run out the corner. We'll give you the momentum down the straight and look at Peaceful. The grunt to that Mercedes as Phil gets past that body boy. So Liam's still in the pits at the minute. Look at Peaceful go. Goes to the outside again as, D as Disco covers the inside off. Yeah, I was going to say uh, this corner here, uh, that's the... Uh, so oh, we've Andy! Just got Hill to Andy's in got a penalty. 10 second, ten, yeah, 10 second time penalty. Liam has just gone, and Andy's got a 10 second pa time penalty. And here's D. Biggs getting get slowed well. down. Don't slow that down. No, oh. he's got it done just, yeah. just in the nick of time. Um, yeah, I was going to say this. This uh, we're, we're miles away from the corner. I was going to comment on now, um, but there's some various lines on some of these comments. There, uh, corners. There's uh, um, there's some real wide lines you can take around this yeah. track because there's so many late apex corners um, that there is a lot of wide lines that can work. And and the one I was thinking of is towards the end of the uh, towards the end of the lap, which you can really go out wide and you you, you kind of lose focus of the apex and then. Uh, kind of comes back to you as you as you kind of pick up the apex let's say lots of late apex corners on this track just want to comment here kelly that peaceful had a very good laguna sector he's looking good value for his money is he hitting a bit of a purple patch at the end of the season well maybe so maybe so maybe he's um finally finding his form mm. um yeah I don't, I don't know i don't know maybe maybe so he's, he's certainly having a a better run towards the end of the uh um uh, the end of the season uh, and you know look at these two guys here that you know uh, none of the Dan, Dan and um, uh, Jamie Dan and Jamie haven't pitted yet yeah. uh, and he's now got a 10 second penalty so these guys are fighting for the last podium position here oh yes without a doubt they are fighting for that last little scrap on the podium and, and obviously mm. Andy's got to fight his way past Monkey Boy who's right behind at the moment but with that penalty will surely suffer at the end of this race depending on what kind of pace these guys are running obviously these two still to pit as well and Andy is only 10 seconds off the back of Peaceful so that's going to be a bit longer than yeah. a pit stop but he's uh, he's doing well so far in terms of looking to get up podium yeah yeah now yeah this was the corner I was talking about the apex comes so late that you can go right out to the right hand side and pull right into the left onto the apex when you go up there it's uh um, it's a line I saw a lot of people taking and, and in qualifying, the one I took myself, to try and straighten up uh, that corner before you mm. go into the right hand, right hander that follows it. So 13 people started this race. The top six cannot qualify as Andy has got past Monkey Boy then and that job is done if you're him as he comes around that final bend and oh, a bit wide as Monkey Boy comes into the pits at the end of lap seven then. So Monkey Boy in, so, Andy now released from Monkey Boy and can hunt yep. down Peaceful Explosion here. This this is the is the closest battle on track at the moment. Um, Dan in second place really can't put a dent on that two and a half second lead that no. uh, that Jamie Brazier's got. So this is the closest battle uh, on track at the moment. We've got Peaceful chasing down Disco. Um, they've been in close company uh, most of the race, and we are we are uh, at half distance of this race now as well. Yeah. Uh, only a fifteen lap race due to the length of the track, three point something miles long. I will tell you because. I did the Wikipedia thing. It is, it is, it is um, um, uh, not coming to my eye. Here we go. 3.3 miles, 17 turns. The lap record, uh, a 141. Uh, and that's in a GP2 car. Um, so, yeah, we're not close to the 141s, but uh, um, but uh, these guys certainly doing well in the... In the uh, um, 58s and 59s, yeah. yep. That we're seeing at the moment. Indeed. So, um, yep. Looking yes, at indeed. Top. As Disco's just dropped, peaceful a little bit now. He He's has a little bit. One second barrier. Looking at the top four as well, everybody lapping in the 50s in the top four, but Peaceful, yeah. has he just attacked a bit too hard or maybe just having his tyres cool down a little bit as Dan then comes into the pits at the end of lap eight? Is Peaceful just backing off as he burnt his tyres, maybe just attacking too much? Maybe. Maybe he's cooling his tyres a little bit to go again. Um, you know, there's been a lot of talk about how to do this. And, you know, some people must be taking it on board. And um, 
Not a super fast stop for Dan. No, He's wanting to go. Yeah, there he is. Look who else it's, is in the okay. pits. It's Disco and Peaceful as well who followed him in. So these two following each other, doing the same strategy of Peaceful and, and, and Disco. Let's keep an eye on their stops and Disco in. I mean, it, there goes Andy. Pe wow, Peaceful's oh, gone. Peaceful, quick stop. That's a good stop. Now, did Disco have damage? Remember, he was involved in a few that one nudges. So, did uh, Disco have a bit he... of damage to repair? I don't think he repaired that in that time. That wasn't a long, that wasn't a repair long stop, unless the damage was minor. Um, but I don't think so. So, Peaceful has jumped Disco in the pit stops. Yes, and jumped in by a decent amount as well. Look yeah. at the gap. It was over a second before they came in. Now look at the gap. Now then is Disco. They've and what they've done though is they've put a bit of daylight between themselves and D Biggs, who's still behind Sutty, and that yeah. is their look way behind Disco. So a couple of seconds behind Disco. Welchy then. Oh, oh he's had a moment. Oh, oh, and a huge shunt into the wall. Will that require another pit stop? Yeah, that was a that was a big hit. That'll be 20 or 30 front damage easily. Yeah. easily. Bit of suspension as well as aero, I yeah. reckon, as well. Yeah, that's going to... That's spoiled his... Oh, and he goes round again. I Probably think, lotted those tyres yeah, up as well. He, he's got to sort of get, he's got to get off it, Anti, to get them tyres cooled down yeah. a bit here. Now, look at who else has jumped in the penalty, in the pits. Um, and, uh, well, Andy. She. No, Andy. Andy. Jumped has down. Gone back... Oh, jumped him in the pit. Yeah, jumped yes, Dan in the pit. Jamie's in. Now, don't forget, Andy's got yeah. a 10-second penalty to his name. Yeah. So, Dan will get that place back regardless. But Andy jumped Dan in the pit. So, that's how long a stop Dan has had. So, what will he lose to big boy Brazier here then? Let's have a look. Jamie, again, looks a bit of a longish stop. And he's away now. Not I, bad. I don't I, think it was yeah, as long as Dan. Yeah, it was Dan. a bit quicker than Dan. A little yeah. bit quicker than Dan's, I reckon. But not, not huge amounts, but a little bit quicker. So... Um, where's Andy? Dan had two and a half seconds Andy's behind last, Jamie Brazier. Yeah. Andy's at the last corner, as is Dan. And Jamie's going to hit the limiter at them green cones. So now, and they're nowhere near him. Oh, no, um, actually, yeah, uh, yeah, you say that. Yeah, uh, gap's about the same to Dan as what it was, actually. So I think Andy yeah. has done a good job pitting early. And maybe the undercut is the way to go here, then, looking for race two. Yeah. Because Andy undercut these two. Dan and Jamie look about the same distance as what they was. Look, three seconds between them. So, you know, half a second. Is that what Dan lost in the pits to Jamie? Maybe. Um, yeah. But Andy, then, the undercut may be the way to go as Little each back in for his stop <sighs> at the end of lap 10. I bet Andy's just um, kicking himself for that. See, uh, Big's back in. Uh, that, uh, and there's no real surprise there, is there? Because uh, he made a mess of that car. Yeah. And no, you're um, right. I, re I reckon Andy is uh, kicking himself over that. Um, but we've seen Andy do this seconds. before, haven't we? Yeah. He's been he's been one for the pit stop uh, pit stop penalties. As yeah, um, yeah they're, they're repairing that. I know they don't look like they're doing anything. They're 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 really good at standing around, looking like they don't do anything. Um, but they are. They are. Yeah, they doing are doing something. something. Daniel Francis in the chat. For me, optimum strategy is pit, stop, pit halfway through the race lap 7 8. I planned it, but it was on a PB lap and was on a PB lap 8 as well. That actually ruined my tyres. Lap 9 was a real slow one. Didn't do the glitch to give them more rest. Um, it overheated them in the pits. I regretted that. So, him saying there, then based off of last night, maybe lap 7 8 is the ideal time to pit. Mm. Let the tyres cool well, down and go for the other half of the race. I uh, pitted uh, last night exactly on lap uh, six. Yeah. And and did the we must not talk about glitch thing. Yeah. Um, and I was much faster than a Red Bull pit stop, um, like half a second. Yeah. And it, it obviously worked for you because your tyres looked all right at the end. Yeah. You looked like a decent pace at the end. So is that yeah. what Andy's done here? And I mean, look Maybe. at them times: fifty-seven, eight, fifty-seven, nine. So back to about fifty-sevens yeah. for Andy. Dan matching the pace. Yeah but not close enough to Andy. Now, he doesn't have to get close enough to Andy. Andy's going to get, get lose that place on a 10-second penalty. Mazda, just a quick shout-out to him, not pitted yet, but up into P4 ahead of Disco, who's got back ahead of Peaceful by a couple of seconds as well here. So what has happened to Peaceful since the pit stops? Because he was about a second in front of it's Disco. Not fault. And now it's... We it's it. not, no, we didn't do this one. We didn't do it. Oh, I said, he's, no. I said he's on a purple patch. Yeah, that's what it was. Damn it. Yeah. Yep. Damn it. He probably had a bit of a spin and then was on a brown patch. Yeah. Phil then... <laughs> Phil then's got to come back into the pits <laughs> after it. 
as he Welcome pitted back, before. Matt. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm here. Uh, <laughs> oh mm. dear. Phil then got to pit after because he, he pitted before the pit window. Sutty still to pit, as is Mazda at the moment as well. I mean, Mazda's lap in two minutes looks consistent on his lap times. Nothing special compared to the front runners, but, you know, he looks like he's looking after them tyres good enough. Yeah, absolutely. I thought I'd just jump back to, to uh, Daddy Leach. Uh, Daddy Leach, he, he looks like he's had a bit of a bang as well, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Coming thick and fat. And, yeah. and look, there's there's another smashed up Porsche. Um, there's plenty of smashed up Porsches. You don't, you don't like him, do you? You do not like him as Phil then comes into the no, pits. No, I, to, can't, I can't look at it. I find it lap. offensive. See, that's beautiful. And where's Welshies? Because well, let's hope he hasn't smashed his like that. The blue one is so pretty. It and is, look isn't at that. it? It is. I, nice. I, I, I dare anybody to say that isn't a gorgeous car. Now, now you watch the, the chat go ting, 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 ting. I'll tell you who didn't like I said it. That. That was, oh, Liam didn't like the colour. Did Bore, he not? Well, bo boring well. and plain, he says. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. But, I, I, mean, um, I mean, I like blue, and I think the blue looks absolutely lovely. Fill in I the pits, then. Blue's stunning, yeah. I, I think it's brilliant. Fill in the pits. Could mm. that allow Welshy and... Oh, look at that. That's a bit battered. No, Phil's on his way out yeah. of the pits, so Welshy will not catch. Will Liam catch up to the back of Phil? Uh, well, that's Jamie's Audi. Where is Liam? Uh, um, where is Liam? Uh, well, Phil's out the pitch. I don't Phil's pull off this there. one. This is our no, yeah, yeah. This is our closest oh, Liam, battle Liam's here on in track. the back. Liam's there in the background. So uh, Liam, we'll see Phil now in front of him, and we'll know that that's the place for P10 and some more points in this one. As Phil only lost one place through pitting, Sutty still to pit as his Mazda, and they are the only two drivers to pit. But Dan just slowly now gaining on the back of that Ginetta. Yeah. But of course, we know. Dan doesn't need to pass Andy to get their second place. Um, no, but he'll want to. He'll he's want a to. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, of course he's. He'll want. You don't want to be given second place. You want to get second place. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The only time you want to be given it is when you're punching above your weight, and Daniel will feel that he's not punching above his weight. He'll want that second place. Oh, that's a line, Dan. I think I had a go at that one at one point in in the in the night. Oh, actually, it was a little bit earlier where I went. Didn't even make the apex, but. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's going to want to pass because, as I said, he's a racer. And um, uh, he, Dan would still probably at this point, oh, we're only three laps to go. So Daniel might concede that he's not going to win this one. But I bet you he still wants that second place yeah, on I, track. I think 4.3 seconds is enough to say Jamie's got this one in the bag. Touch wood. Um, let's, yeah, yeah. Give it, let's give it the old touch wood because we know what will happen if we don't. Um, Somebody looking, will phone him. Yeah, it's looking down the order. Peaceful. Uh, second and a half to Disco still Sutty's P7 at the minute but he's still got to pit so he we, uh, Sutty will probably lose to Monkey Boy come out ahead of D Biggs so losing that one place not too bad as Andy goes a bit deep into Andy the left hand and Dan looking to capitalise Liam within five seconds of the Acura for that. I tell you what Dan may regret just touching that curb there because he looked like he got that exit horribly wrong yeah, I think he was probably focusing on what Andy was doing. It's very yeah. easy um, uh, to, to watch the car in front of you and, and kind of wonder what they're doing and where they're going. And that kind of spoils your own line from time to time. Um, certainly, what I've, you know, you, you get focused on the car in front of you and you think, what's he doing? What's he doing? Is he going to go off here? Is there an opportunity? And then as soon as you've done that, you kind of look back and think, oh, hang on, I'm all over yeah. the curb now. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I know what you mean. You're sort of too busy watching what the guy in front's doing, and and, and then you yeah. just sort of that one little moment well, of oh, hey, get off here. Yeah, and uh, Martin Brundle says it, it says it regularly, and it's true. It's very easy to follow someone into their in, in, follow into someone's mistake. Yes. You know, when you're focused on the back of that car, they run wide. You have a and tendency I, to follow their line. And I feel that this is something you see mainly on a Wednesday night in pro am. A lot of errors. Mm. A lot of errors where the car in front's made the error. And then yeah. the guy behind will run that little bit deep or make a similar looking error <coughs> on a Wednesday night in the Pro-Am. Not necessarily up the order, but definitely down the order. That seems yeah. to be the case. Liam now three seconds off the back of Phil. Disco still has that one and a half, two second gap over Peaceful. And Dan, again, within half a second of Andy, but Andy doing a good enough job to keep him front at the moment and just yeah. irritate Dan, Wouldn't if anything, so far. Yeah, absolutely. Um, is it time we started talking about a championship here? Um, now, this man, Dan, is leading the championship yep. from Gary, mm. who's not here. Mm. Um, who's in third? Is it Jamie or D Biggs? D Biggs third, 42 D points Biggs. behind. Jamie fourth, yeah. 55 points behind. But Jamie's going to gain at least five, if not six points over Dan in this one. Now, it's not enough, yep. but it's enough to make Dan not win the title, if you know what I mean. 
Oh, that was a bit late, Dan. A bit late on the brakes there. Again, Andy took a wider line into that corner. And uh, I think that was catching Dan out a little bit. He kind of uh, uh, was a bit deep on the brakes there. Um, so Andy's still keeping him honest, isn't he? Yeah, he is keeping him honest here. But um, you have to say, you know, the race really wants that P2 and he'll yeah. fight this for this next two laps. Although they have gained on Jamie a little bit, these two, over the last couple of laps. So is Jamie just backed yeah. off to save them time Dan's gonna have a little bit it. more? Dan yeah, looking down to... the outside as Liam yeah, as well. He's... He's tried to get on the back of Phil here. He's within a second of Phil. So we may have to jump back and forth. But Dan so far, there's that battle. Not quite as close as the Dan one. But... Not that time round for sure. But uh, um, it's this section that going up. So let me jump on board. This is the hard section on the tyres, yeah. Matt, yeah. as you know. This section up through here, you get to the top here and the tyres are yellow if you're hitting it hard, you know, so you then you can then come through these next couple of corners and you can cool the tyres down the down the back straight And I don't know bit. about you, but I feel that that's where the Ginetta may have the upper hand over the Porsche, yeah, that maybe. first part of the track, because look at the gap andy has got over Dan now, as we see that buzzy boy <laughs> looking on the rear of Phil, just touches that kerb a little bit, has to break a little more than he'd have wanted. Now the run out of this corner, so important, patient Liam, patient Liam, Phil's ran a little bit wide, and now Liam could have a look around the outside he's already gone to the wrong side he's not tucking in the slipstream now the Audi not going to monster the Accor like the Porsche or the Mercedes Benz would in fact it looks like the Accor has, Accor has pulled up from the Audi yeah, a little bit. bit yeah he has pulled pulled away from him a little bit um, uh, but goes oh, in a little bit back. deep Liam right back on him in the corner I just wanted to see I'm trying to jump between these two. Oh, Dan's oh, got the Dan. run there we go Dan makes it stick round the outside of uh, whichever corner that was um, he's he's uh, he's got in front of Andy so yeah, um, he's jumped he's, on him on that one he's done Andy now now did Andy make a bit of a mistake he didn't sound like he was on the maybe. power coming out the corner maybe he just hit the no. curb too hard but Dan round the outside well, job done he's got that move sorted yeah, around the outside. So you've got to think that uh, Andy was in the midst, halfway through a mistake or something for Dan to be able to drive right around the mm. outside of Andy. Um, is yeah, is is you know reasonably brave. So you must think that there was a mistake happening just as we jumped on there or something. Now, but, Liam, uh, can he gain a couple extra points ahead of Phil? Then this will be massive for Liam in terms of you know just cheering the mood because he's not going to be very happy with what's happened in this race. And obviously, Phil involved in that incident with Liam early doors. So Liam's going to want to get past Phil here and. Took him that slipstream, uh, but I don't. I tell you what, Master's now in the pits. A Master pits. on the penultimate lap has got himself a 10 second penalty. Oh, so uh, that'll go against him rusty, at the end rusty. of this one. Yeah, very rusty, rusty. Sutty still yeah. to pit as well. That could give Sutty a place, I reckon, here as Peaceful and Disco get past oh, Master. Look, 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 Liam's having a look. Oh, he was having a look up the inside. He's brave up through there, but he was having a look. Um, he's certainly looking racing. What could have been for Liam, isn't it? Yeah. Um, how many? How many can't qualify? What's the cutoff uh, top, top position? Six. Top six can't qualify. Top six. So, so Sooty, <coughs> Mazda's in the in the last position to uh, to not yes. qualify. So um, with a ten second penalty. So will he drop? No. Will he drop behind the the uh, Ron Outlap for for Mazda? Or he's still in, yeah Ron Outlap for Mazda. Sooty comes into the pits. Yeah, we're on then the final lap of the race. We'll have to cut to Jamie Brazier in just a yep. moment, see him win win this one then, or it looks like he's <coughs> going to win this one three and a half clear then as he's coming to back end of this track. We're not going to be able to see if Liam can get the move done or not, but what a start for big boy Brazier tonight. He's trying to keep himself in that championship hunt as he comes down this quick part of the track. And he's not really let Dan go just yet. That's nine tenths of a second, but you have to say for Jamie here, he's he's not put a foot wrong in this first race. No, not at all. And um, you know, think uh, think where Jamie would be if he hadn't had his internet problems and yeah. and so on and so forth. He could have uh, uh, been a real force to be reckoned with. Oh, well, um, she's back in the pits. I wonder what that's for. Down really, in a lot, of, lot of people place. pitting very late, isn't there? Well, well, she's already done his stop, but that does not going to stop yes. Jamie Brazier taking his first win of the evening. Danny's going to get P two ahead of Andy in P three. Good drive for Dan. Great drive for Andy in that Janetta. Yeah, Good result. P4 will be Disco. But let's just cut back to Phil and Liam because Liam's got Phil. They are just behind this pack. And Liam then did get Phil at the end. Yeah, he wasn't he able to bring it here. But Phil's then going to cross the line 11th. Liam, what could have been for him down in P10? He will get to qualify. And I tell you what, I fancy Liam for a pole position in that Q2. D-Big's in the hat. I think Liam's got a better one-lap pace than D-Big's. Disco mid Disco face will cross the line looks, P4. Yep. Yeah. Looks quite happy with that, and uh, but those guys were nearly 20 seconds off the leaders. Yeah. Um, so yeah. quite a gap from the top three back um, to the rest of them. P4 
piece four, uh, p5, and then it's Mazda, yeah. who isn't yeah. going to get p6 here. Um, it looks like Monkey Boy's within that 10 second gap of Master, so that will allow Master then to qualify for to the qualify. second race. That will put wow. Monkey Boy up to P6, and Master will then be in P7. Qu um, steady. Yeah. Do you know what that is for Master with a bit of rust? Steady, quiet, yeah. out of trouble, nice sort of just plodding along. Peaceful. Uh, Monkey Boy 6th, Master 7th then. Uh, it's going to be Sooty Apex to come home in an 8th place and caught up in a few incidents early doors. Maybe he'll have the look next time around but we'll have to wait to see Welsh is still in the pits but he'll be finishing 13th Sutty we know is 8th Phil we know is 11th Liam we know is 10th and D-Biggs at 9th well 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 yeah yeah the two the two normal front running Porsches are going to come over the line uh, as they're, they're in different places on the on the track but they're, 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 oh, so they're sorry they're on the same place in the track uh, but they're in different places in the order um uh, Little Leach's car looking absolutely trashed. And those two front-running Porsches way, way back in that race. Way back down in that race. Jamie Brazier, 56-9 in the race. A fastest lap wow. for him as well. We're going to be back in just a few moments with uh, the driver interviews and the second qualifying. Top six cannot qualify. And my money's on Liam in Q2. So don't go anywhere. Grab a cup of coffee. Go to, for a toilet break. We'll be back in about five minutes. And we're clear. Um, you see in the chat, no, um, um, peaceful saying check messenger to you. This is something different tonight. I had to repair the engine on lap eight. It was that bad. Taken one off mins and then just blown on me now. Just constant engine failure. And I'm running the standard setup for the game. It's hard on engines. Yeah, that's well she who said that. Yeah. Um, uh, Nicky was running. By the end of the race, he had like. 30% engine damage or something like that. Joey's so really Damn. hard. Damn. I don't know what Welsh keeps doing, but he keeps blowing up engines, doesn't he? Yeah, Biggs ran loads of track. He wants to radiator more. Biggs ran loads of track limits, mate, apparently. Sorry? Biggs ran loads of track limits, apparently. Yeah, so did everybody, if you ask me. Yeah. The, first, the end of the first lap... Um, um, the, end of the, the end of the first lap, last corner... Most of the field run track limits there. It's it's almost fair to say that pro am were bloody better behaved, but we had yeah. restrictions. Yeah, I see what you mean. There was a few, especially that last corner. Right, I'm just gonna pop to the front. <laughs> let, me, let me get the top three. In. Yeah. Oh, Kelly. Oh, he's gone. He's... I'll tell you what's going to be interesting here. We've got Dan and Andy coming in for an interview. Yeah, right. Back in two secs. Well done on second, Dan. You little swine. You little swine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Teasing me. Saying that you weren't going to make race one. No, because I, I didn't have my dinner till I ate, so I literally rushed upstairs. <laughs> and I only just made one. Sit down. Yeah. I thought I was going to take pole, man. I genuinely thought I was. I was like... So did okay. I, and then I thought, I was, I said, then I was like, oh, I've messed this life up. I was just like, and Liam just went, you've got Paul, and I said, no, wait for Andy to come across the line first. Mm. I did see Andy run a little bit wide in the final corner. Mm. But, hey, hey, didn't really get him very far. So. I was going to say, I was going to say that lasted all of about five seconds. Uh, I was sticking with you, that was annoying me. Hmm. 
Andy, yeah, he was just in the middle of us and it was frustrating me a little bit. But Yeah, so I, f I was just hoping you were going to put pressure on Andy a bit so I could scamper up the road. You didn't get very far. If anything, no. we were catching you. Were you flat out or were you coasting? Coasting. I thought you were. Good race, guys. Mm. Thanks. Cheers, Kelly. I didn't, I didn't even know what the pit, uh, pit window was five. <laughs> yeah, pit. Yeah, because I had the lap five. Yeah, because I had Liam saying, well, when do I pit, when do I pit? And I was like, end of lap five. Don't make the same mistakes I did. <laughs> mm. uh, Dad, are you in the session? Am I in the session? No, probably not, actually. Because um, I just went to the loo. Well, Gary didn't turn up, so... Mm. Jamie, Jamie, you're now my, uh, my well, championship rival. Well, you say that. But are you seeing who can qualify for this race? Yeah, D Biggs is not enjoying this. Yeah, but say if he can get away up the front, then he's not enjoying it, mate. He's really hating it. He's, he's, um, he's, he's, his setup doesn't seem to be right at all. It's, Matt, it's, it's mine. Matt. It's mine. Is it? It's oh, that's interesting. Because I was saying on stream that you were the only Porsche driver who had any pace, and I wondered if they had, if it wasn't working for them setup-wise. So that's the same setup yeah, I pace. used last night. He had the same setup. Shit. But this is how much he's not enjoying it. So yeah, he, yeah, he's not liking this track. Good race, no, Andy. Well done, Andy. Yeah, well done, Andy. He's lost for words. Yeah, with great, great battle there, Dan. He's oh, Jamie there. Yeah. Yeah. Like Jamie, I've got someone who wants a word with you. I do record. Mm, Jamie's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then, go get yourself a drink quickly. Are you streaming? I'm streaming Liam's Racing, yes. <laughs> Jamie Brazy. Oh, uh, like, just, uh, <laughs> just to say the date's wrong. Oh, no, it's not. Did we just race that with the wrong date? It's only a month out. <laughs> and a couple of years. I'm just going to have to. And a couple of years, yeah. I'm well, just going to have that as well, I'm Jamie. Have to I mean, invite you, you know. normally then. That's the first time ever that I've driven out on a set of hard tyres and they've been immediately up to temperature. I literally two It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. They're already up to temperature. It's it's crazy, isn't it? It's so hard on the tyres, unreal. Mm -hmm. What was the Ginetta like on its tyres, Andy? It's brilliant. Yeah. It's yeah. Really Were you green all the way? I was. I went a bit orange towards the end, but it was only about twenty percent off the top at the end of the race. Yeah. Race. I was so, orange or red most of that. Really? Uh, See, last I was, night I was... I was yellow I was, or orange, most of it. My pressures were high. I had my pressures up about 30, which was kind of soothing it a little bit. Yeah. See, I tried that the other day Just and that didn't work for me. Master's changing his steering wheel. <laughs> it's, it's slidey, but if you... Four... Kelly Little H, Master Peaceful. All run wide out in the last corner, and it wasn't that bad. I don't think I gained any time, but they caught you on stream, and they. Yeah, I mean, you was up, you was purple sector one, so I think you'd gained all your time through sector one. Um. Hiya. You what? Hiya. Oh, yeah. James. Yeah. Yes. You got anything else you want to say? Mm -hmm. Go on. Hiya. Who else? Uh, Jamie Brazy. Ooh, Jamie Brazy. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Hiya. See you in a bit, James. Monkey boy. Not worked it out yet, because I'm resending the invites and now I'll do it. No, you've, you've not got it yet now. Oh, 
like that. Yeah, we we jumped onto you. Thing. We jumped onto you on the stream just as um just as as Dan was going round the outside of you, Andy. So we didn't actually One, see two, three, four, you make five, the mistake six, beforehand, seven, eight, like you know. Nine, ten, that was it. Yeah. It wasn't the biggest yeah. mistake. He just had a twitch, and that was enough for yeah. me to go around the outside. That race felt so had. long. It, it almost yeah. feels like it was two races, literally. I tell, I tell you what, I had a bit of a, I had a bit of a brown pants moment when I was coming into the pits because my game started just lagging like mad. I was thinking, oh god, please no. Your lag, man. Your fucking yeah. lag is doing my nothing. The first few first laps, laps when I was nightmare. right behind you, I was like, <laughs> where the fuck do I go? I was going to launch one then. Um, should have seen in... him at Laguna. He was even worse at Laguna. I swear he was inside my car for fucking half a lap. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty pretty bad. We did. Uh, we went on board with you, Jamie, in in the qualifying. Oh, it was mm. bouncing around so much. It was it <laughs> giving me a headache. You know. <laughs> I think it's. I think it sorted itself out like halfway through the race. It just had a massive lag moment, lag spike, and then just sorted itself out. It was really frustrating because I was sat there and I was like, I want to race you, I really want to push you. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't. I was just so scared to race you. It's just not. Oh, come on, Phil. Yeah, that's my, yeah, that's my tactic. It's an interesting tactic, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. He's doing. Oh, hang on, I just pulled my wire out. Um, it's an interesting tactic to. Uh, you're not, you're not going to get it fixed at all, are you? Do you know what I mean? No, no, no. no, no. Why, why? Everyone's scared to get near you. Yeah, but then he disconnects and then he loses massive. Points. Well, so, yeah, there is a down, spot. there is a downside. You want, you want the ping to be shocking, but you want the download to be solid. That's what you want in order to yeah. right. fulfill that date. Oh dear, no, you can't win the constructors tonight unless D Biggs pulls his finger out. Right, I told him he's got to on pole. Am I safe in the relegation zone yet? Can no. Dan win the um, title tonight? Yes, Andy, you're well safe for that now. Oh, thank God for Can that. Dan win the title tonight? Yes, but depending on what happens in this race. Where, so you need where to win, Jamie. He... What do I need to win the title? Yeah, yeah you where to do I score Jamie by three points or more? So race win and he finishes seven. second. I think so. Yeah. If, Gary, I've, if I've worked Gary's it out done. right, if I've worked it out right, Gary's done, and Jamie, you need to just start score by a handful of points. That pretty much come next week is just all that over. <laughs> All I got to do it next week is just follow him home, and I and I win the title. Yeah, basically, basically, because you didn't miss your because you didn't miss that wedding, you're basically winning the title. No! Yeah, because because you screwed your mate over to to, to race cars. So Thanks, you, you're going to win the title. It's terrible. Thanks, mate. Oh, Jesus Christ, who is that? Right, go in life. Me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Simplay Motorsport here for the 22nd round of the season. Two more to go after this tonight, all at Monza next week for the Pro and Pro-Am. But it could be done tonight. It could be done for Dan tonight. He's in the party. We'll get away with him in a moment. He's 45 points. He is clear of Gary131. He's 49 clear of Big Boy Brazier. 55 clear of D-Biggs. Them four can still mathematically win the title. Constructors could be done tonight, but it depends. I think D-Biggs needs to score a few more than what he did in the first race to help Dan out to win that one tonight. If they do win it, we'll get Biggs and Dan in regardless of the podium finish. If they do win that one, then Andy climbed up the table massively in that, and Disco's putting himself in a fight with GQ Motorsport that could go to the end of the season what that's done for Mazda as well is is that's put Mazda on just a few more points not enough yet to, he's not going to get anywhere near Welshie but just a few more for him right to the podium finishes and we'll start with Andy uh, P3 in the Ginetta 10 second time penalty but he'd lost out to Dan's before the end but solid race for the Ginetta again a bit of a purple patch at the end of this season yeah starting to get the hang of it a bit too late started off well it's starting to end well as well but um I had a good battle with Dan in that one. It was a really enjoyable little scrap that we had at the start of the race before the pit stops and at the end as well. A uh, bit frustrated to get the 10 second penalty, but having said that, it wouldn't have actually made a difference in the end anyway. So, yeah, just pretty happy to have got a podium, another podium. So, uh, two in a row, just hoping to build on that. And I'm hearing that I'm safe in the Pro Series now as well. 
Yeah, it looks. Oh, yeah, it looks to be that way. Yeah, it looks to be that way. Yeah, head of Joe, head of Sutty, head of Liam, head of Phil and Welsh as well. So that looks to be safe. Um, how was the tyres on that Janetta? Because tyres are the big issue tonight. What was the tyres like? Janetta's really smooth on his tyres. Actually, it's very, very kind to it. It's uh, they, they were going orange towards the end, but the actual wear and the actual uh, tyre wear wasn't that much. It was only a, about twenty percent off of the top. So. Mm. I have to say it's, it's going pretty well. I put the tyre pressures up quite a bit. They were sort of between 29 and 30 for most of the race, so it might have helped a bit. It was a bit slidey, but sort of managed it quite well. So the Ginetta, all in all, is, is really, really good on its tyres, so it was quite quite lucky with that one. What can you do race two coming from what looks to be sort of mid-pack in this one? What can you do from there? Well, I've got the luck of the draw, haven't I, with the, uh, with the whole random qualifying position. So mm. hoping that I can make some quick progress it's going to be about the pit stop strategy I think trying to uh, get that uh, that fast pit stop you know the one we're talking about yep. the, uh, <laughs> the engine damage one <laughs> got that in the first race not that it came to any avail with the 10 second penalty but, but yeah uh, that, hoping to make, maximise that if I can well best of luck buddy uh, oh sorry uh, go sorry, on Kelly mate. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah I was just going to say you, 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 you say you're getting the hang of the Ginetta you're not going to keep it for next season are you Definitely not. Not a chance. Fair enough. That's all <laughs> I need to hear. Yeah. I'm counting down the races. Three to go. Yeah. Three to go. Uh, good Good luck with it. But uh, I'm sure you're, you're going to be happy to see the back of that car. 100%. Good yeah, luck definitely. with it. Well done, Andy. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. We've got an orthodubs in with us as well. And Dan, obviously, as I said just a moment ago, title and constructors could be yours tonight. Um, but that's not the main issue. The main issue is uh, making sure that Jamie doesn't outscore you in this race to keep it into next week. Yeah, we'll just take each race as it goes. I'm trying not to think about it too much. Just take race one, uh, race by race. So, uh, yeah, that's, I'm not thinking. I am thinking title, but we're taking it race by race. Two weeks ago, won the GT5s. Surely the GT3s are on your mind. I know you say you're not thinking about it, but sure, surely they're there. I am I am thinking about it. Like I want it. I've, I've never wanted the GT3 uh, yeah, the GT3 championship more than, than this season. I finally had a decent car, and I've had the chance to fight. And uh, one, one of my main contenders is out, and is, is not here. And again, shame to Gary, but it would have been nice to finish the season on a high. But I've got to make sure Jamie stays behind me now. Um, this round, Amond uh, is left. So it's looking good, but I don't want to curse myself. Anything can happen. Now, a good solid start to tonight's race. You got off the grid well, got ahead of Andy early doors, which you needed to do. Um, and Jamie was just kind of on another level tonight. You never really looked like getting past Jamie at any point. Was you just happy to follow Jamie home for second? I was trying to catch him. I knew that if I could have one round at least ahead of him, then I would be at least a little bit more happier going into race two. Mm. So it was a bit like, what do I do? Do I sit and follow or do I try and attack while I could? His internet really uh, scared me at the start, so I couldn't really <laughs> attack. But by that from point, he got comfortable, he pulled away, and yeah, he just seemed to have the better setup, the better drive, and overall better driver. So, fair play to Jamie, and congrats for his race win. And let's fight this till the end. You're going to be P13. Dan. Oh, sorry, Kelly, go on. Oh, yeah. Um, we, were, we were just talking in the stream, we were talking about setup, and, and as you well know, I, I was running your setup last night and, and making it work in the Pro Am really quite well. And I said on the stream that uh, D Biggs and, and Little Malich must have something very different to not be on the pace of you. But you're telling me that, that D Biggs was on the same setup as you tonight? He, he, he did race the uh, same setup as me last, uh, wow. last race. Um, um, so he just, he, what? he just doesn't like Dubai. He absolutely right. hates it, and he says also that he just hasn't put the time in it. Okay, because again, we've we've talked, um, you know, quite openly and, and whatever about patience on this track. Do you think that's the key, patience? Uh, you needed the time to practice this track. You needed to learn the lines. You need to get the you need to get the laps yeah. in. Is that what you're saying? When, yeah. Fair once enough. you learn the lines, then it all came to you. Yeah, yeah. You're going to yeah. start P13 in this one, Dan, at the back of the pack. What can you do from there? Stay out of the way. Stay clear out of the way. I do not want to be getting involved with any silly incidents, so I'll be taking it lap by lap, driver by driver, and pit at a time. So, oh. Best of luck, mate. Good Go luck. well in the second Good race. Luck, Thank you, guys. Thank you. And we've got Jamie here as well, who didn't lose his race win record last night to Fury, but he's trying to <laughs> add to his race win tally. He's approaching the milestone of 25 race wins, Jamie, which is very impressive. You're on 22 yourself. Now, that number's a fantastic number for you to have, and it was a great win today. Not the pressure I think you may have expected early doors in the race. 
No, so I'd expect just expect Dan to kind of throw caution to the wind a bit and just go, want to go for it and just kind of break my ribbon. But say Andy, Andy just got got involved and yeah, say I was quite happy for him to to be battling Dan because it it just meant that I could escape up the road a little. Now. Going into tonight and, and next week at Monza, you've got nothing to lose in the title. You're hanging on by a thread, and you know this. Is it... I, I'm just going to go for that race win, give it my all. If Dan messes up and I'm still in that, and I gain points on him, brilliant if I'm not in the title. Because you've not really been in the title fight for a while now. Is that your mentality at the minute? Is do my best, I'll do my part. If, I, if it's not good enough, it's not good enough. Yeah, I say at the minute, it's just thinking, oh, I just, I, I just need to go for... As hard, as hard as I can say at the minute it's just been just been going for race wins but say to, uh, podiums and race wins are just the aim for the rest of the season just, yeah get as many points as I can to just cement our place in the team's championship and, and finally just a quick word on your teammate Liam because we speak about him most weeks obviously coming up from the pro-am to the pro he's had pace tonight and he got a bit unlucky in race one didn't he um, and he's qualifying three temps off the pole at the minute he's, he's a guy that looks like he's got something around to buy yeah, so we were looking at just just before, uh, or just at the end of that last race, we were just looking at lap times, and he had he had the pace of uh, Dan and Andy, so he would have been well up there if he just hadn't been involved in the incident. So hopefully, in this one, he can just stay clean and get that podium that he just, he so desperately wants. Go well, Jamie, in race ja two. Ja oh, sorry, sorry. Go on, Kelly. Uh, Jamie. Um to to think to think I mean it's possible for you to get the title but you must be thinking that's a big long shot. Are you just now thinking next year's going to be uh, next season's going to be my thing? And are you sticking with the Audi uh, for next season? And is that more your focus now? Uh, yeah, say so next season's more my focus now. I after Lavinia, I knew that the title was just got just gone. I'd need Dan and Gary not to turn up. Well, Gary hasn't turned up, but unfortunately. <laughs> Dan has, but yeah. So, yeah. in term, terms of the Audi, yeah, I'll be looking to say in that because that, that me and the Audi just seem to be uh, much yeah, made yeah. in heaven. It just, yeah, it just, just clicks really well. I, I think you're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Um, oh well, you are now, but I think you, you're, you know, it's, if, it's certainly if you can keep your internet connection um, good, <laughs> then I think it's going to be a force to be reckoned with next next season for sure. Yeah. Good luck, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good luck, mate. You. So we tipped Bozzy for Paul Kelly in this one, but D Biggs has found a bit of pace from somewhere from race one and Q1 into this second one because he's three tenths quicker than Liam. But Liam, to start on the front row of the grid, would be, I think, his highest start here at Simplay in the pro category. He's been third. Oh, no, he's been second at the uh, second race of, uh, of Zoo High. So this would match his best result unless he can get that pole. It'll be, it'll be buzzing if he could find that three tenths, wouldn't he? Mazda, though, he's purple, purple in sector one and two. This guy's on a flyer. D Biggs. I think crossed the line before the end there, so he's got one more chance. Liam's gone purple sector two now, so Mazda's going to do a lap before Liam. No, he's not. Oh, Mazda spun it. Yeah, he's lost it right at the end. Liam, purple sector two. Now, what can this man do? For some reason, the car's ghosted. Not quite yeah, sure why, know. but what yeah, can Bozzy Boy do here? Last corner. I tell you what, this could be a scream if he gets pole position here. A bit wide at the Come end. On, what on, is he going to do as he goes down towards the line? Has he got the time? No. No. Not Doesn't improved. Improve. Not improved. His last lap was a couple of attempts slower than his best. So what a shame. It looks like D Biggs is going to take pole then as Phil is on a flyer himself. Liam must have lost in that last sector before we got to him. What a shame because I tell you what, Liam, there'd have been a scream from upstairs, I reckon, if Liam had got pole position there. But P2, he can be very, very happy with that one. Yes, indeed he can. Yeah, good, good effort. And if he can keep his nose clean... Um, he could be on for a good result if he's got uh, good yeah, based, pace, which you know, based which off of what think Jamie was based off what Jamie was yeah. saying with the pace of he was as quick as Andy and Dan. Well, hey, that could be something. Liam could be on for a yeah. not only his first podium but maybe a first race win. How consistent and together can he be? How will his nerves be? Whoever, if he's in a party with Jamie, and I think he might be in one with Manster as well. Mm. They'll want to keep him cool and calm and collected as much as possible here. Phil goes third. Ah, Phil does go third, knocking yeah. Mazda down. I, I didn't lie. I no, didn't no, lie. sorry. I, I, when you said it, I didn't want to believe you because of the Acora. Uh, it was a moment of shock for you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yes! That's, that's the way. <laughs> that's, 
That's the way to make uh, Matthew Duffin speechless, is see a Honda at the, fr at the front. D Big Zen is going to get pole position here, followed by that Bozzy boy, then Phil, then Master, then Little Each. And a message I've just had doesn't bode well. Now, we'll see what happens when if it loads into the next part of the race. But I'm not going to say who it's from and what it is yet. We'll see what happens in a moment. But D Big Zen, your provisional pole man, followed by that Bozzy boy. Then Phil, Master, Little Each, Sooty, Welchy, Monkey Boy, Peaceful Andy. And then you've got uh, Disco, Big Boy, Brazier and Unorthodubs. And i tell you what, Manster, P4, what he'll be one to watch in this race, as will Phil Ooh. and D-Biggs as always. But we're going to be ready to ready up. And I'm hoping here that the comment that I've just received isn't true and that he can get going. Um, but that, for D-Biggs, is his first pole position of the season. Um, oh, and for, some, that, some... For, the, for that Bozzy boy, Sorry, he go. now has the best Q2 average position of fifth with his second place there. And look... There is an Audi at the back of the pack all over the place, but not retired. Yeah. Jamie's still on that list, and that's the problem. Is Jamie said oh, his PlayStation's oh. frozen. That's the problem. Is Jamie out of this race? Yeah. If so, that'll give Dan the championship. And what a, what a way for Dan to win it. He'll not want to have done it that way, but no. a win's a win. But yeah, as we see, Jamie is just bouncing all over the shop. We were just talking about his uh, internet connection because it's always yeah. a talking point. And uh, um, yeah, looks like uh, looks like someone's been phoning him again. It's probably a double glazing salesman, um, <laughs> uh, or someone standing in the bedroom door doorway. Um, but he does look like he's all over the place. Let's hope. Let's hope he can get it sorted out. But it, it, uh, you it's love not my, looking very promising. You love the stats, don't you, Kelly? Oh, I I, I live for a stat, Matthew. Right. That is Little Leach's first ever Q2 performance this season with a best of He's fifth. never been in Q2, has not he not? been in Q2 all season ah. until tonight. What about uh, D Biggs? Because he's um, normally towards the front. Well, D Biggs, um, let me have a look. No, uh, no, I was at Q2 at Laguna Seca last week to ah. qualified third. Ah. Yeah, right. But for Little Leach, first Q2 appearance. Ah. So there we go. He now, must be... Uh, Strange territory for him. Now I'm not sure what's happening with Jay but Jamie, but yeah, there you go. You see the he's, oh he's, no, the car the, no, the car is the on grid. the grid. We're syncing up now. Then has Jamie got it sorted? He's on the grid. Was it just a bit of a glitch to start with? We'll see if Jamie goes here, but he is currently there on the grid. It's less how away and we go. Away Jamie well, is yeah. away, so the championship's not done yet. And look at and that buzzy boy. Player. He's got a he's right a start up the inside of D Biggs already into tier one. Phil stays third. Ed a little he shut. He's looking up the inside of a few drivers as well. But Liam up the inside. Of D Biggs into turn one leads it to buy and D Biggs though not giving it up easy yet gonna fight back oh, they squeeze each careful. other a bit of a touch but they're still pointing in the right direction and Liam now does have that lead and looking like a cleaner start so far from these guys um, Liam in, in front and uh, keep your head down Liam crack on the people behind you are struggling at the moment so you've got time to get away the nearest person who's got pace is probably Andy so um Crack on, Liam. What a start from Andy. Up to fifth now. From, he did, from, yeah. From, from what, eighth was it, I think, on the yeah, grid? Seventh, wasn't he? Seventh. Tenth, he I was, put him he... down as. He started tenth, because uh, well, she started right. seventh. So, tenth okay. to fifth on the first couple of corners. Great start from Andy. And like you said, Liam, like Jamie said on the interview, Liam had the pace of Andy and Dan. So, what can they do? Dan's up to ninth. Big boy Brazy is thirteenth. Yeah, was he more patient then? Uh, although, no, look at that. Has he been involved in a bit of a tussle somewhere? Because know. he is way back. There's big boy Brazy. Yeah. Although, who's behind, who's behind uh, him? Yes, now... Uh, he's lagging all over the shop. That's what it is. I'm wondering what's... there was a car behind him. Ah, just right. Ago. I think something's glitched here. There is a car because, behind him. Yes, look at Jamie's time. He's a minute 51 off the leaders, and they're about done an outlap. He's a minute 33 behind Monkey Boy. So I think it's glitched Jamie out and hasn't recognised that he's ready up in time. Do you know, with all the bouncing around right. at the beginning, I yeah, think yeah, Jamie yeah. I think Jamie will stay last and won't even do a lap time, it will say here. We've had that problem before with Disco at a track. D Biggs, though, trying to pe pressure the back of Liam here, and that buzzy boy, how will he handle that pressure? Phil's still up into third head, a little each and Andy at the minute. Disco's got himself ahead of Sutton. You see Jamie, one minute 51 off the lead now, as D Biggs 
is in a different postcode in Dubai and Phil could get past he bigs down in a straight teammates in a previous league not teammates anymore and Phil gets himself up into yep. second but that Last just relieves into second yeah boy do, do you want a little permanent personal moment there yeah. uh, Matthew just just give yourself a little permanent personal Woo! moment yeah, yeah. Phil no more than two and a half no more than two and a half minutes, because that's what makes babies. Uh, so, uh, oh, now, what's happened the, to Monkey Boy here? He's in the pits. Oh, see, little leaves, oh, small yeah. sideways and out of shape. Right, now, well, I think... Well, onto it beautifully. I, I think the glitch has bugged it, fixed itself now, because Jamie, look, back up to P11. And he's now seven seconds off the lead, so I think that's worked itself out. He's on the back of Mazda and Sooty, who haven't had the great of, greatest of opening laps. Monkey Boy into the pits as well. But with d Biggs running wide there, who's just got back, back, got back, back ahead of yeah, Phil... That's allowed Liam two and a half seconds of breathing space. I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go mm. there. I'm going to. I'm going to. Hey, I'm going to let fine. Liam concentrate and get yeah. on with it. And um, we'll, we'll see him again if he comes out. Look at all that back towards yeah. the back here. That Who's is all that at the back. It's peaceful. Oh, Phil, lot. big boy, Brazier, and Mazda all sort of gathering around. Uh, that is sooty, peaceful. A sooty oh, it. a sooty send it gone wrong, oh, and he's lost that to peaceful. And Jamie, in fact, now. I tell you what, on, he's done an abs he's played an absolute blinder there. He knew that the next corner was a, a left-hander. I'll just run a but little Jamie, bit wide. Jamie outpowers him as he goes up the hill, but that was a classic sooty sender and yeah. a beautiful one at that. Did about three places in one go. Um, Jamie, as I said, outdragged him and look, Peaceful's all over the back of him with a yeah, power and you of that see Merc. Sooty there. Look, just, look at Sooty just trying to weave left and right a little bit just to keep that Merc behind. Maybe just stop it in its tracks a little bit. Bit of weaving it to buy. Who'd have thunk it? Who would have thought it? Yeah, who, yeah. who would have ever done that? Uh, <laughs> uh, don't Jamie, talk about it. No, uh, <laughs> Jamie then up to P8. The next car for Jamie is on Orthodubs. Is that Buzzy Boy? 2.6 seconds now. And uh, I said it yet tonight, but I'll tell you what, how this is ebbing and flowing in the championship for an Orthodubs. At one minute, Jamie's all over the place. It doesn't look like he's going to race. The next minute, he's the car behind you, and he has to do something about it. Now, I know we're not talking about him, but look at the pace of the leader on the last lap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, oh, he's done yeah. it. He's made a mistake. He's made a mistake, oh, and he's no. held on to it. He's kept he's on made, to it. He's, Seven tenths. He's, he's lost two seconds it. somewhere. So he's had a slide Scratch. somewhere then. But uh, Andy up into P3 now as well. He got past Phil as he was on board him there. So Andy running good guns at the minute. Little each up into fifth as well. Disco sixth. Dan, though, trying to get on the back of Disco. You see there. And Jamie trying to get on the back of Dan as Little each looking at Phil. And that one, I think, is done. Yes, indeed. Shout upstairs to Liam and say, pay attention. No, I'm going to leave him, be. I don't want to startle him. <laughs> Some great racing going on up and down the track. We're on board with Unorthodox. Dubs. Look at all this lot fighting for position. Phil was, was running good guns, but he's slipping back now. Um, just still getting the power of that Acura. It's just, um, I, I hate to say it, but that Acura is shocking. Because yeah. Phil, Phil is, is, is a good paced driver, and so is Sooty. Do you know what I mean? They have, it must have been painful for them all this season yeah. um, to be having the results that they're having because they're both um, good drivers. Very, yeah, and very good, um, good, quick drivers, aren't they? As Phil's yeah. going to lose out around the outside he's to Dan lose here. Out Daniel. Oh, I don't know if he oh, is. Oh, he's not. Oh, he's not. Oh. oh, no, he spun him. Oh, he's now. Was, he's was spun that him round. Now, that was a very uncharacteristic thing. Was that leg? Because he seemed to just bounce back in a very laggy type way, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't know. It was, um, yeah, hard hard to say, really. Um, yeah, Dan was around the outside of him and Phil came in and, uh, yeah, just, just watch, just watch back around. on the Yeah, watch back on the replay. We'll have to keep our eyes on our second monitors. Monkey Boy in the pits again. What's happening to Monkey Boy then? Not sure what's happening there, but here we go. Just on board oh, on Orthodox no. on the replay. Oh, no, Liam's what's been... happened? What has happened? D Biggs has taken the lead. Liam's now down to P2. And has Andy on his tail. Now, I'm just on board Phil here on the, on the street. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just the way he sort of taps down and the way the car acts after yeah. he taps down just looked very laggy a little bit. Now then, Liam, down to second I, place behind D Biggs. What can he do from here? I tell you the man who could win this one is the man we're on right now. Yes. Is Andy. We yes. know he was quick in the first one. Uh, Liam and D Biggs both struggling. Um, Liam had a good start, but seems to be struggling a bit now. We know D Biggs has been struggling with this. Nobody's setting the timing. Uh, the timing's on fire, are they? 58, 59... Uh, from Jamie and, and Peaceful. The rest of them are all solidly in the two minutes. Oh, so, Liam's having and a look. he's got more pace than this. Yeah, he has got more pace than this than Liam. We're just having a look up the inside of D-Biggs there. And I tell you what, this way, as Andy got a bit of a wiggle, runs a bit wide there then. Look, Liam's not out of this. I wonder if Liam's just 
not been in this, you know, been, being at the front of Pro-Am, you know that feeling, you know, it's a great feeling, but this yeah. is the pro, this is the big league. As he's going to yeah, have a look, but is... Liam Lunge coming out yeah, the closet, is... and has he got it done? Has he done it? it I tell you what, he's, oh, he's, he's, the, yeah, he's got the inside now. Oh, he's just, oh, he oh, oh yeah, a just bit. a bit of rubbing racing there. It happens there. D Biggs is going to get back up the inside here. And Liam's going to have to... Oh, he's not giving this one up, is he? He's not giving that one up. He does now, though, and has to tuck back in. And Andy is right Andy's in a good position. Danger, man. But Liam is looking racy. And this is brilliant to see from Liam. Yes, indeed. Um, certainly is. And... Um, as I say, he hasn't given it up yet. He hasn't given it up by a long no, shot. But uh, Andy, Little Leach and Disco all in very, very close company as well. And... Uh, some cracking racing in the first uh, first four laps of this uh, uh, this race. Yeah, These pro boys stuff. just having to work for it a little bit here, aren't they? Liam just having another look up the inside, oh, and Andy, Andy, well, well wide. Where is that off? And look at how far oh, he goes he's going back there. to Laguna Seca there. Yeah, yeah, he must be. He's off to he's off somewhere. He's off shopping in the uh, expensive city of Dubai. As Disco's looking on the back of Little Each here, and is he going to look down the inside? Jamie disco Jamie's disconnected. Yeah, where's, where's Jamie? Fury in the chat. Jamie's disconnected. So Big Boy Brazier has gone. Gone. No points. You know what is, that means? That means, depending on what... Well, hang on. D. Biggs is mathematically wow. still in the title fight here. Okay, okay. But Jamie has disconnected. So, depending on the gap between D. Biggs and Unorthodubs tonight, D. B Dan will be crowned champion. Now, will D. Biggs let Liam through to lose a couple of points? Now, Liam's lost a few, a bit of pace here to D. Biggs. Will D. Biggs let Liam and... Uh, excuse me. Liam and Andy through then to get ahead... So he drops a few points to Dan. I wonder if that's where if a race wins worth sacrificing for the team game. But at the minute, wow. we'll have to wait well. and see what happens. Still 10 laps to go. Pit window is open. This lap, Monkey Boy has been in the pits twice and has got to pit again for his troubles. Unfortunately for him, that's the way the rules are. Yeah, I mean, you, you just said that. Will D. Biggs drop back? I mean, D. Biggs is, is, is a lovely guy. I've met him and he, he, he's a really nice guy. He's a consistent, fair racer. Um, you know, proper kind of guy you want to race against. Um, but is he going to give up a race win for Daniel's championship, for the Constructors' championship? They're going to get it done. Do you know what I mean? If they don't get it done yeah. this week, they'll get it done next week. I don't know if he's going to give up a race win. The racers in us, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know? No, I know. I get exactly what you mean here then. And you know, Even though Phil just tapped an orthodubs around, I don't think that's going to matter because I think this is the job done. Liam still has Andy on the back of him. D-Big's just making a little error there and that's allowed Liam yeah. to just gain a couple of tenths. And this this battle between D these three is ebbing and yeah. flowing. It is. D-Big's hasn't got this done by any stretch of the imagination. He is fighting that Porsche in every single corner at the moment. Um, he really isn't clicking with this uh, Dubai track at all. Um, so... It isn't done by a long shot yet. Liam could still win this one. Dan um, in. End of lap five, Dan's in. He's going, he's uh, on the pit stop. Is he trying to do the um, uh, glitch we can't talk about? Um, and have a quick pit stop here. Let's, uh, let's see how quickly he does this. And that's been the story of Jamie's season, hasn't it? The disconnections, which is going to, which has cost him a season. He's lost out to Sooty as, as Daniel lose out to Oshi. He won't lose out to Monkey Boy. It's not the glitch. It's a very it's not, long it's not, stop. It's not, yeah, it's not I a wonder if stop he picked sure. up a bit of damage with that contact with Phil. Yeah, maybe. Oh, as, as we just jumped back onto Liam, as uh, Liam was having a bit of a moment and uh, gave Andy a sniff up the inside, but uh, Liam's covered it off. And um, yeah. A bit of rubbing, um, nearly Jamie, a bit of rubbing. Jamie's just put in the chat. His game froze when he left the commentary booth, and the Wi Fi yeah. was playing up ever since. So that is not good to see if you're Jamie Brazier. Then, as Liam made a mistake, like you've just said, Kelly, and that's allowed D Biggs to free himself up. And Andy just patiently waiting on the back of yeah. uh, of Liam. And Andy said he'd love another podium, a good run of podiums in this Ginetta. It's not enough to change his mind to keep the car as Disco's no. got past Little Leach behind. But uh, a good bit of form at the end of this season is what he wants. And Liam here, you know. I think Liam's too busy defending now and not going forward. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, I think what he's doing, Kelly, is he's over panicked himself, if you will. He's he's yeah, yeah. Too high. He's got a nosebleed, if you will. He's got a bit dizzy, a bit light headed. He yeah. he needs to just keep himself cool and calm and just race as if it's a normal race. Don't look at what position you're in, sort of thing. Yeah, he needs to concentrate. He needs to be looking forward more than behind because he seems to be driving 
over defensively at the moment. So, uh, um, and, oh, and, and Andy and very Andy wide. Goes, oh. Well, where's Andy going? Is he going I to the pits? Think, yeah, he's dived he into is. the pits. Is he going to get slowed down in time? I'm sure he will this time. Yeah, yes, this time. Fall foul to that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> is Andy on the uh, on the glitch thing that uh, we? Well, let's wait and see as Phil's into the pits as well as Andy then at the end of lap six, as is Peaceful Explosion then, who's having a bit of a quiet race this time around. Uh, but I tell you what, Jamie in the chat, come on, Liam, please get a podium. I tell you what, I think the whole of Simplay Motorsport oh, wouldn't, begrud wouldn't begrudge Liam a podium. No, God, no. No, absolutely. I, I think everyone would like to see... Uh, Liam get a podium. That was a quick stop from Andy. He might well have got that. Uh, 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 you know this 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 whole glitch thing that's that is possible, and and a few people have done it. I've done it a couple of times myself. You don't always get it right every time, but it does make for a little bit more interesting in the pit stops, don't you think? I think it does. Yeah, and the, the glitch thing is obviously something that we cannot control. As little each year is coming no. back at oh! disco, oh! and they oh, make huge was... contact. And little little leech kind of lost that himself. Lost it up over the curb, really, and. Uh, um, yeah, poor old yeah. Disco was kind of the passenger in that one. Went to make the move, in but from uh, where I saw it. Went to make the move, but then just seemed to. I'm going to keep an eye on the monitor next to me as well, uh, as yeah. I was just looking at the comments and then come back to the screen. But yeah, it looked like Little Eats was up the inside, then just lost it himself and caught that curb. I reckon. Yeah, and Disco just a passenger really in that one. I agree. Liam get a podium says Fury in the chat. I don't think anybody would begrudge him as we've just said. But that Buzzy Boy 1.8 off the back of D Biggs and he's pitted now, so Liam could do with when's he going to retaliate to that one when's he going to react to uh, to Andy coming in the pits we're on lap 7 I think of I 15 missed that one on the stream yeah I think I did as well yeah yeah I don't know yeah I kind of missed it I think but uh, yeah it looked like uh, Little Leach got up on the curb a little bit and then mm. uh, unsettled the car these these big sausage curbs uh, uh, Dubai do unsettle the car quite yes, a lot massively. there's a lot of the curbs that you just can't uh, you just can't uh, mess with really and, and the Porsche is um, a car that you can bounce off the curbs quite nicely and Liam yeah, straight normally, yeah. away does retaliate to to Andy's pit stop very well done by Liam there I think we should just publish how to do the glitch and people can choose to do it or not says Daniel Francis and I think that's a very yep. good option. It gives everybody the chance to do it. And if it doesn't work, yeah, yeah. it doesn't work. Now, that's not Liam's crew. That's Disco's crew. Disco then comes into the pits at the end of lap seven as well. Liam in the pits. It's a bit of a longer stop than Andy's. It is. It is. It's, He's it's, gone now. It's okay. So where's Andy? Let's jump on to Andy. Where is he? He's coming out the final corner. It's, it's, I, uh, oh, Welsh and Sooty, uh, and they're all pitting here. Oh, I don't know. You know, that's... Uh, yeah, he's done him. No, he's it's done not him. quite going to be enough. Yeah, he's done him. It's going to Liam lo losing out to Andy then, and that's not what it, uh, he would have wanted to see. Really, says Disco in the chat. As a few of the drivers pit this lap, but Andy again, stellar pit stop, and Liam comes out. What is a net P3? Let's not forget. It's still a podium at the moment if you are that bozzy boy. And uh, Andy, I mean, it w was it inevitable that Andy was going to get passed at some stage or another? He has been possibly quick possibly. in the, he, been he was quick, quick in night. race one, and he's been on the back of Liam for a while now. Yeah, he's been quick all night. But um, can this man, D Biggs, hold on to this one? Interesting to see because he has uh, um, not been great tonight. Um, yeah. Not been his usual self, that's for certain. And uh, let's see where he ends up at the end of this. And as Daniel's on the, um, on a charge trying to go back now, through the pack. Don't forget what I said race one about the undercut. D Biggs yeah. hasn't pitted here and Andy and Liam have both pitted. And Dan has as well, and he's coming back. And Dan the has, yeah. He's now I don't think Dan's this man on the track as well. I, I don't think Dan's close enough to undercut D Biggs. No. But in terms of Liam and Andy, only a couple of seconds behind when they pitted, I think could yep. be worth. If we if we see their pace now, it could be worth an undercut. Liam's only a couple. He's got nothing behind. This is the battle behind Liam, and they're a good near enough 10 seconds behind him so he's got a good clear track behind he, he's now not focusing on Andy and his mirrors he can look forward maybe try yeah. and gain on Andy but this could work over D Biggs here we'll have to keep our eyes on that and Peaceful not getting the run out the corner but on Orthodubs no. did and what Certainly is soon did. to be classed as your season 3 champion up into how P6 points, how many points between D Biggs and, and, and Dan have we got what, what does Dan need to do here tonight so I this think race? for me if, for Dan to win that D Biggs has got to outscore Dan. Oh, I don't know. He's 55 behind with 52 up for grabs. So D Biggs has got to score three points more than Dan. To keep it alive. To keep it alive. If you. No. No, are you sure no, about that? No. Dan's got to. Score three more points. 
Mm. If Dan scored three points and D Biggs took a 26, Dan wins the title, I think. Because going in before the points, Dan's 55, but D Biggs is 55 behind with 52 up for grabs. So if Dan gets a point, even if D Biggs wins and gets fastest lap, I think this one's done. I don't think I don't think there's any way. To, yeah, D Biggs has got to win the race and Dan finish way down the order. I think for that to happen, right. Sutty back into the pit, so he's obviously had to make another stop. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, 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 think, think just, I think Dan's got D Biggs done in the position he's in at yeah. the moment. Okay, well we'll see. Uh, we'll see, and he might have to do some quick maths towards the end, uh, Matt, because uh, um, yeah. We're don't you worry. Know, aren't we? Yeah, don't We're you worry. I'll I'll have it You'll told. It. I will have it told as the, the last like drivers Sonic. coming round. I, I will. Something getting all excited and moved out my chair, and I now I've disconnected my um, speakers. The reign okay. of the Gary One Three One is over, possibly tonight, yep. and it's Could a new be. reign. It's a new reign. Could is be. it a new reign in it's the constructors' championship? The Leach Motorsport of season one and two. The Leachy legends of this year are no more, and it's the Shake and Bake Boys who are on the top step. What this will mean, though, by the way, and how boring. A Porsche has won every season of the Pro. Constructors and drivers. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's... D -Big's uh, in. If, yes, indeed. As we have... Um, as we go into season... What will it be? Season four. Season four, um, yeah. Season four, as we come to the one-year anniversary of Simplay, um, it's been a, a Porsche dominant in, in the jewel of the crown, which is GT3. Mm. Um, so um, it'd be interesting to see, though. I think the guard's going to change. If Jamie um, can keep his internet connection um, yeah. good, that's, Matt, uh, Andy's already it, through, and, and Liam, they're well through. Yeah, so there you go then. I said the undercut. And D Biggs, though, to be fair, looks like he's made a mistake somewhere because Dan's also passed him. Yeah, he's um, oh, he's still is he doing damage? Look at the he front end. He's had yeah. D Biggs has had an off because that front end is pushed in. He's even lost out to look. peaceful. Even Phil and Disco have got past D Biggs now. So little each still to pay as his Mazda. That's put Liam back to a net second place here. So Liam's yeah, just got to keep doing what he's doing. Absolutely, this man is your net leader, Andy in the Janetta. He's been in this car off, but it's been a, uh, it's been good to him so far around uh, Dubai. That's for certain, sure. And uh, and as oh, oh as no! Liam drops it, goes, picks it back up quite quickly, um, but uh, but yeah, drops it there. He, he's got and to, he's got to focus. He's got to calm down and focus as Liam. He's got to, He knows he's on for a podium. That's Dan behind him. Yeah. If you ask me. I'd be sort it's of tempted done, to it? say, let Dan go. Don't yeah. fight him too hard because Peaceful's had no. a couple of seconds behind Dan. If he wants that podium, Liam has just got to keep calm. He's scrubbed his tyres now. He's to got go. to back off a little bit. Ban the Porsche yeah. next season, says Jamie, uh, Jamie Brazier. Um, and what what wins does Dan have compared to D Biggs this season? Well, Jamie, Dan has six wins to his name this season. D, uh, D Biggs only has the one win to his name. But D Biggs has been up there through his co sheer consistency this Mr. season. Mr. Consistent, yeah. Mr. Pro Consistent, isn't he? Whereas Dan's yeah. had a few poor races, but has won six to balance the books, if you will. And uh, Liam, she's just got to cool it down. Now, would, would, well, Dan, looking would, at Dan, would Dan sit behind Liam for his first ever podium? Dan's got this done with D Biggs behind him. Yeah. Jamie's out. Gary's yeah. not here. Dan's got this done. Is Does Dan need to... Uh, if Dan becomes under pressure by somebody else... Then surely he can. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what Dan does. Yeah, Dan, very wide there through the wall. Well, not very wide. We've seen a few cars wider than that tonight, but uh, Dan wide nonetheless. Flash to Liam. Then, and uh, come on, Dan, let's not put him under any pressure. Let's leave him to it, the poor boy. <laughs> he's maybe, fighting maybe he's for his flashing him to say, Yeah, maybe don't he's worry. flashing him to say, Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm you not, 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 not going to pressure. Yeah. I'm not going to pressure you. I don't know how you could re relay that in a flash of lights, but, but he could be, you know? Um, Little but, each, uh, your net leader, ahead of Mazda. Them two still not pitted. Andy, only six seconds off the back of them two. Then I'll tell you what, Little each is working out that his pit stop could maybe put him in between Dan and Liam here. Come out around this little battle, 20 seconds, maybe just behind Peaceful a little bit. I think Peaceful's uh, made a maybe. mistake because he's dropped back a fair few seconds compared to Dan. He's now eight seconds off the back of Liam as Phil's trying to get in on the back of Disco and D Biggs is down in ninth after his pit stop. Yes, indeed. So, um, so D Biggs, just going back to D Biggs, um, where is he currently? Second in the championship? Was no, that, he's fourth uh, in the championship. Fourth in the championship. Yeah. So, I mean, he's had a solid 
very solid season. Great as you say, season. only had run one, one race win. <coughs> which Great is interesting season. I'll go through you. Yeah. I'll go through his results for D Biggs it's been a fantastic year for him so he's had 2nd, 3rd, 3rd, 5th, 2nd, 6th 3rd, 3rd, 2nd, 4th, 4th 3rd, 1st, 3rd, 2nd, 5th didn't race at Le Mans because he was at Silverstone that week then he's had a 7th, a 5th and a ninth. so but arguably since having that week's break for going to watch the F1 he's came back and not, <laughs> not been on the podium <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, there you go. Oh, oh! Dan, 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 Dan. Yeah, he's, he's going to give it you back, Liam. Yeah, it's a little each into the pits at the end of lap 11. And um, Dan there just Didn't tapping uh, the back of Liam, just breaking yeah. too late. Andy then will gain second place. And he can see Mazda in front of him. Mazda has uh, not stopped yet. No, Mazda's um, still got to stop as well. So that's that's that one done. Now, question. I said he'd come out by a little each in unorthodox. Unorthodox has passed. Sorry, that bossy boy. There are these two. I reckon Little Each um, is going to be on the back of Liam no. here. No, not, yeah, not as be on close. The back of Liam. Yeah, not, not, not right. as close no, as we not, thought. No, no, no. No, no it's, it's hard to judge on this one. I think, again, it's pit stops. And just going back to the glitch thing, uh, Daniel Francis saying that maybe we should tell everyone. Uh, maybe those who know should pass it on. Maybe that's that's yeah. the, the way yeah. to do it. I mean, I passed it on to my teammate, you know. Um, uh, I don't know how many times it's worked for him. It's worked for me probably. It's probably worked for me beautifully about three times this season. You know, so it doesn't work all the time. You have to get it uh, exactly right. But um, but yeah, maybe people should just pass it on. Yeah. You know, maybe that's that's what we should do. Jamie, in capital letters. Dan, he's saying in the chat. Dan, that'll be for hitting Liam and Liam again. Just breathe. Keep calm. You've got time to peaceful. Just head down. Oh, Mazda a bit wide there. And this, the battle then for the race lead. But Mazda probably won't fight this one too hard. He knows he's got to no. pit himself. Mazda here could come out around Little Leach as well. Just behind Disco yes. and Phil, maybe. It's not a bad night for, for Liam. Not bad for, for Mazda, sorry, on his return. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's still got it. He's still got it. But I've said before, if you can drive, you can drive. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, of course, it doesn't matter how much how long you're away. You may not be up to pace as the quick lads, but you're consistent. No, may take, yeah, may take you a minute or two, but you can Ooh. drive, you can drive. Yeah, he leaves Andy just a car's width of room there. Monkey Boy, don't forget, still has to pit as he pitted before the pit window. So does Mazda, and that is it for everybody to pit. Just Mazda and Monkey Boy there. There is Monkey Boy up front, who has pitted a, a, twice already at the start of this race. Not sure what for, but has to pit again to comply with... The rules. Uh, Liam then is still on the back of Dan, but Andy's going to have a look at Mazda. And it's to be good to get Mazda back for Monza as well. If there's obviously he's, he's in for this, he's registered for season three, so it'd be good to get Mazda in for Monza to end the finale yeah. and maybe get a bit of a full grid scene as we lost Emo Guy and Keegs as well to help Disco yeah. out in that one. It'd be a nice to see Mazda back on the grid as well for that. Yes, indeed. Um, easy pass there for Andy. Um, I think Mazda just opened the door and said, come on through. Andy yeah. gave him a flash of lights as he went through. And, and Mazda knows he isn't, uh, he's not racing Andy. He's not racing him, not really. Do you know what I mean? No. Um, so Liam's catching back up to, yeah. to Dan. Yeah. Um, I wonder if Dan took some damage when he, uh, when he uh, possibly um, a bit of front tried to get in the back of the Audi. Because it looks like Liam's gained all that time down the start straight, so I wonder if a bit of front aero damage for Dan, and that's just affecting him in a straight line, as Disco's trying to catch Little Each, who's trying to gain on the back of Peaceful. Peaceful, who's trying to get away from the pair of them. Yeah, trying to gain on Liam for that possible final podium spot. These three squabbling will do Liam some good, but Liam squabbling with Dan will do him no good. Now, Liam here. Now, let's see the difference in the speed. Has Dan lost some aero speed in terms of that bit of front end damage yeah look he's, he's, he's staying to the left go, um, he's staying to yeah. the left to defend looks like Dan is and Liam gaining on him just a little bit if, if Dan's backed off this a bit then then um, yeah I don't know if he's got the, the front doesn't look completely smashed up on Dan's car but it, but it does look a little bit damaged did he take damage um, or is he just going slow and giving Liam a chance to have a pop at the title as it were yeah it, it sort of kind of like Dan B is rear gunner so Liam's guaranteed a podium if you will I mean and fair yeah. play to Dan I think Liam will oh Dan oh Dan very, is very yeah. wide there where's he going very, very uncharacteristic there from Dan but if Dan is letting Liam through what a nice gesture that one is the pit glitch is like a big secret don't think many people will say since it's a thing you can gain you a massive advantage as Fury then as Master comes into the pits yeah. at the end of you lap have to do 13 it right, you do have to do yeah. it right you do have to do it right and it doesn't always work right so it, it's there's you know once you once you know how to do it it doesn't always happen for you do you know what I mean but yeah, uh, um, yeah so it, it's also getting it right 
is the important thing. Dan pulls across right over to the left, uh, right hand side there. Um, is Dan going to give this one to, to Liam, or is he, as I said, is he going to not give it to him, but not make it too hard for him either? Yeah, I just wonder if Dan is just sort of toying with Liam in terms of is he going to give it to him, or is he just struggling Disco up the inside a little leaks this time they don't make contact Masters come out just behind Phil in P8 then but ahead of D Biggs D Biggs has had nothing since his pit stop no no he's uh, he struggled uh, he was leading this race for quite a while mm. um, and just struggled terribly around this track yeah uh, and it's funny isn't it you know um, as I said the car doesn't really matter we know this man um uh, Daddy Leach is uh, um, is, <laughs> is more than capable of, of a higher result than this. We know D Biggs is as well, and they just haven't been able to to yeah. get to grips with this track yeah. tonight, have they? You no. know, and and D Dan's been fine. Um, I had pace last night. Nicky had pace last night in the Porsche. Yeah, it's, Liam, it's a Liam, weird one. Andy's had pace tonight. Peaceful and Disco have had decent runs tonight, and this man's had good pace tonight. Bar race one, we've getting caught up in a few incidents. This man's had pace tonight. So it is a bit of a strange yeah. one to see. And I'm not saying that Liam's a bad driver, but it's very strange to see D Biggs and Little each struggle compared to Liam, with no disrespect to Liam at all. Um, but we're used to seeing them two well in front of Liam in, in the racing, you know. The last time we seen D Biggs struggle, and uh, oh, is Disco oh. there? Just a bit of a nudge up the rear, a peaceful explosion. So much speed through the corner that he just tapped the rear. He stays behind him then and didn't nudge him wide as Little each with a flash of the lights there then. But Dan and Liam then have started. They are going to start their final laps. These guys are coming around to start their final lap of this race as well. And Peaceful looking up the inside. Uh, sorry, Disco looking Disco. up the inside of yep. Peaceful. And Peaceful covers that one off. Now this is allowing Liam to just stretch his legs a little bit. Oh, a little each wide. Peaceful thought about taking the pit lane. And uh, covers yeah. Disco off. Got to run him out to the edge of the yeah. track, isn't he? Run him no, out. he doesn't actually. He gives him and, quite a lot of room. That's... And the, the Merkel will have the legs down here, but look, he goes to the inside yeah. and he's going to try and break that toe. He's, he's Fernando Alonso in it, if you will, weaving down the straight. Now, obviously, there's nothing yeah. wrong with weaving, weaving in the straight. It's it's moving in the, in braking, the braking zone, zone that is the problem. As Fury says, if everyone's being told, just say it in the stream about the, the pit glitch, just post it in the Facebook group, then everybody can see it. It's there forever then. Uh, but we are on the final lap. Andy's done a good job in this second race. Good start. Got the job done early on for Andy. And he's not he's looked no back lights. since. He has got no lights. If you're listening, Andy. Has he Andy, switched them off or is he broken yeah, them? Yeah, I don't know. If he's, if he, if he's listening, fuse? if he's listening, it's, flick, it's, flick it's, them lights off. Flick, put your lights back on, Andy. You'll yeah. see much better. <laughs> and uh, um, he's either in stealth mode or, 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 let's be fair, it is basically a kit car, that Janetta. Yeah. So it's probably blown a fuse or a relay. Well, I tell you what, it's took Andy 21 wins since his last race win, which was the very first race of the season at um, Spa uh, here at Simplain Season 3. Liam's still trying to attack Dan. Let's just cut back to Andy, because Andy's going to cross the line way before Ooh. these guys. Oh, Liam there. Andy's coming yeah. now to the final couple of corners. This long left uh, into this little right-hand kink that's a bit tricky then the final corner to go and what a race two drive from Andy he's gonna looks like he's gonna yeah. take this win stellar gotta, stellar gotta, job uh, gotta be a contender for driver of the day I think oh, he's gotta be mine doubt. this evening get your driver of the day in the chat now while we think about it yeah. but it is gonna be Andy to win round 22 to go for well a second done. win this season now where's that bossy boy and Dan just behind on Orthodubs versus Liam couple of corners left can Liam get this one done Dan taking a bit of a wider entry into that one he's done that all night can Liam will he lunge up the inside into the final corner Dan's flashing uh, yeah. we think he's going to be the season 3 he's champion he's going to be the champion we think now Dan is looks like he's going to take that P2 and he's going to do yep. it in style. Liam now on the podium Liam as well. The That's podium. the biggest shout for this one. Yeah. Liam on the podium. But Dan is your season three champion here at Simple Motorsport. He has done it. Disco P4 with Peaceful in fifth place. Good little fight from them two in this race. Little each um, down in P6 towards Phil. So he had, obviously had a bit of a bad end to this race. P6 for him. P7 for Phil. D Biggs P8, not the night for D Biggs at all. Mazda uh, P9, so a decent set of results for Mazda, 7th and a ninth, decent point. Sooty Apex looks like he's going to be 10th place. Long way back. And, uh, well, uh, let me be the first to say that uh, 
if Daniel is champion, which we do, uh, he is. Big no, he is. I've just checked. I've just checked. He is. I've checked. So um, obviously, I'm extremely proud because he's my son and all that. So uh, um, well done to Dan. This is the jewel in the crown to win this one um, uh, uh, of all the leagues here at Simplay. So it's uh, oh, oh Sutty just Sutty's not going to be tenth. Sends it into the wall. Sutty's so, not going to be tenth. Well, she's going to get tenth no. at the line. Well, she's going to be tenth. He's going to give be gifted that by Sutty smashing that up. But what a podium! What a podium. I've got to yeah. say, stellar drive from Andy. Um, drive, my driver of the day for sure. Um, and Dan, a champion. And uh, Liam with his podium. Uh, that's, that's, that's just a brilliant Who got podium, the that? fastest just lap brilliant. of the race? Andy with a 57.3. Just going to scroll through. Yeah, 57.3. So Andy taking fastest lap as well as the win. And now that the numbers have been crunched, let me just, while I get uh, Liam in, as well as Dan and Andy... Um, and we'll get D Biggs in as well because I think that is the constructors done as well. So let me just add these guys in and then I'll be able to just recalculate the um, the points. So here we go as we just do a quick reshuffle then. Yep. That is Dan. Yep, I can confirm. Dan is the champion of Pro of Simplay Motorsports Pro Series for Season awesome. 3. Dan has won the title before we go to Monza. 52 points up for grabs. Tell you what, the fight is on for second. Yeah. There is four, four points separating second, third and fourth. D-Biggs is up to set third now. What a job done. It isn't, though. It is. Sorry, it is. Just redone the constructors as well. D-Biggs has just joined us. Just so he did the constructors there. Dan has done the double tonight. Constructors and Drivers' Championship in the bag for Shake and Bake and for Unorthodox. Awesome. What a awesome. job from him. That is the job that he would have wanted tonight. He's here now. We hope we get Andy in as well to get a word with him. We're going to start, though, with with that buzzy boy who's got his first yeah. podium in the Pro Series. What a drive, Liam. How is that? I, can't, I, I don't know what to say. I am absolutely buzzing. And I, as you probably heard from downstairs, I just screamed. I, I, something I've been longly waiting for and finally has come. You, awesome. Well you done. had a great second race, mate. The pace was there. You led and had a good fight with Biggs and Andy early doors. You then had a good fight with Andy as Biggs started to pull away. Not the pit stop you'd have wanted, which allowed Andy through. And then a bit of a tussle with Dan at the end. But great pace tonight, Liam. Great pace. You've got to be happy. Oh, yeah. Like I say, I'm ecstatic with that result. <laughs> um, I, I mean, it didn't help. My pedals came undone um, when I was leading the race for a bit. But it is what it is. I'm still on the podium, so I'm happy enough. Well done good. tonight, Liam. Good race. Well done. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, we've got Andy uh, We've got Andy in as well. We'll go to Dan. I know Dan comes second, but he is a champion. Andy, great race win. It's took you 21 races since your last win. But the Ginetta's had a good night tonight. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Uh, it's been on a horrible barren run of form, and I, I've been struggling in this Ginetta. Our first round at Spa, it was beautiful but since then it's been a bit of a struggle so really delighted to finally get that first win i calculated it i think it's something like 75 days since i last got a win in the <laughs> league race <laughs> so yeah, pretty tough to finally get that one done and out of the way but uh awesome. yeah really really happy to, to have got the win pace was there the tire the tires were actually really good as well they were, you know the genesis is so good on its tires it was uh you know, it was, uh, yeah, sorry. It was, it was really, no, yeah. really enjoyable. Really enjoyable race. No, Fantastic. Yeah. Well done, buddy. Well done tonight. I, Great um, pace. Um, sorry, go on, Kelly. Uh, I was just going to say, uh, I, I, I've put you as my driver of the day tonight, Andy, because I, I think you drove Stella yeah. tonight. Um, I'll just ask you just one more time. Not keeping the Ginetta? No. I'll make my no way. Back. Even even if I, yeah, even if I were ahead by, even if I, by some miracle was a lap ahead of everybody, I still wouldn't have done it. No, not, fair enough. I'm, I'm I'll, I'll send you a big hammer. Like... I'll send you a big <laughs> hammer in a post and you can smash it up after next week. Yeah, and a uh, jerry can as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> well done well tonight, done, Andy. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Congratulations to Dan on the... Did you get the championship, Dan? You did, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, yeah that's it. Congrats, yeah. congrats to Dan on the championship as well, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we're going to jump to D-Biggs before Dan as well. Dom, your teammate's done the drivers, but you've both done the constructors. What a hard season, but without Gary and Little Each on form tonight and Gary not here, that's that one title wrapped up for you. Yeah, massive congratulations to Dan. 
for getting that as absolutely brilliant all season. Um, my aim this season was to get constructors, and I've done that, so I'm happy. I um, we, we've gone through your form this in this second race, and it's as if you've gone to the F1 and come back and not had the form you had before you went to the F1. Yeah, I, I, I haven't really liked the tracks we've had um, since I've come back. With Dubai, I can't click with it. Laguna was okay. I, I can drive it, but don't don't like it that much. The, this track, I just couldn't couldn't click with it at all. Monza. Monza's okay, but I think everyone likes Monza, so yeah. <laughs> no, no real advantage there. Well, well done on the Constructors' Championship, yeah, well mate, and, and best of luck tonight. Great drive. Thanks. And uh, we, we've got him in. He's not only the Season 3 Constructors' Champion with D Biggs, he is the brand-new Pro Drivers' Champion. He's the one with the target on his back next year that everybody's be, going to be looking at. Dan, what a season it's been. Oh, my God. I uh, I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. Uh, <laughs> Is that the one you wanted, Dan? Yes. Absolutely. Well done. Commiserations to Jamie. Commiserations, mate. I'm so sorry to see you get disconnected. I really wanted to battle it out. But, hey. You'll I get it next year. Championship. Championship. So, yeah. And also, Gary, if you're watching, mate. Such a shame you couldn't be here tonight. Been an awesome season. I told everyone to keep an eye on it. It's been absolutely amazing. The drivers have been amazing. The, you guys have been amazing. I have loved every single race. And big shout out to D Biggs as well, my teammate. We have just smashed it this season and we've done a strong job. Shake and bake at top. I'm so happy tonight. So, so happy. You said to me Dan at the beginning of this season, Dan, Gary's your focus. Leachy Legends are the target for the team we're aiming for them you've done it Gary two time champion he's not an easy guy to beat you know as well as anybody but you've done it that's got to be good, a good feeling yeah and to be fair as well we've done it in the same equipment as well same car same circuit same situations and I do have to take my hat off to Gary he is one of the best drivers uh, I race against and we've had our fights at Silverstone. It's been clean. It's been fair. And I, I, I'm honoured to have fought him this season and, and take the title away. So uh, we did say we were coming for it. I had the pace in other seasons to prove it. And now it's all come together this season. Um, Dan. Go on, Kelly. Uh, we've, uh, we've been together f to see you win quite a few championships over the years. Uh, most of them been on, on, on little small bikes. Um, does this feel as good as those did? I don't know, actually. I think, I think personally, one that will stick to mind will be the BMX races because it's a physical yeah. thing. This is a little bit different. BMX racing is uh, you really do have to train hard for that. But in case of this, I've beaten some of the top sim races in this league, and yeah. not many people can say that. And no, I've absolutely. That, and I can prove I've proven I've got my elbows out this season, and I've done it. <laughs> and I'm not the nice guy I was the seasons before. I fought this season, and thank you to everyone for being fair. Well, um, yeah, and, and to, to be fair, Dan, you're, you're, you're still one of the most um, one of the most fairest drivers, in my opinion. Um, and I just want to say um, that I'm proud of you again. I've said that many times over the years, but uh, proud of you again. Cracking, cracking season, and uh, you know, as I say, very proud of your performance. Thank you, Dan. Means a lot. Based on this second race tonight, though, Dan, um, it wasn't all your own way from the back of the grid. You seemed to struggle to get through the pack and then have a cracking little scrap with Bozzy at the end. Yeah, Liam was making me a little bit nervous at times. He was making some daring moves, but I was just hoping and praying that he would keep it clean. And I'll tell you what, mate, if I didn't have the damage at the end, I probably would have pulled away. Yeah. But I was glad to have that damage so me and Liam can have that fight. And he proved that he deserved the podium tonight. So... Massive respect to Liam at the end there. That was a well-driven drive, mate. Congratulations, bud. Um, yeah, first start of the race, I hit Monkey Boy. They got all tangled up, and I had major damage at the front. Also realised that I was in the wrong engine mode as well, so I was actually a lot slower than normal. Mm. Um, pitted early, got rid of the damage, and then was just flat scat to the front as quickly as I could. Caught up to Liam, gave him a little tap on the rear by accident, let him go. Um, and then because of that tap, I had the damage on the front and I couldn't yeah. get past him. 
until we properly fought. But Liam, Liam super job Liam, tonight, mate. Tonight, Congratulations mate. on the podium and hope you get more next season. Well, for the final time tonight, Kelly, any final words? Uh, I, I think um, Dubai's been a, been a good round, to be fair, both pro-am and pro. Uh, I, I personally had a cracking good night last night. Uh, we had some good racing in the pro-am last night, some good clean racing within track limits. Um, and uh, I, I think the pros have, have given us a good spectacle this evening. I think Dubai was a very much a level playing field for a lot of the uh, a mm. lot of the people. So, uh, yeah, we've seen some really good performances. And uh, um, I, I, I'd gladly see it back on the calendar again. Although I, I'm sure there'd be a lot of people booing at me, uh, certainly a lot of the drivers booing at me for that statement. But uh, I think it's been a firm favourite for me anyway. And I think we should see it again. Indeed. Well, we'll see what the calendar brings for season four, which will be up and announced within the next couple of weeks. We uh, Congratulations to Andy tonight on his driver of the day and his podium finishes. Congratulations to Jamie and Liam on their podiums as well. Massive shout out to D Biggs. Not the night for him, but the Constructors' champion nonetheless. Yep. But we have to give the biggest shout out of all to an Orthodox 16, who is your season three pro champion. He's the one who's the, who they're going to be looking at next season. And I tell you what, I cannot wait already. I know we've still got Monza to go, but with the titles wrapped up, I cannot wait for next season already. We'll be live tomorrow night with the GTEs around Watkins Glen. We'll be live at 8 p.m. BST. Tune us, uh, jo join in for that one. And we'll be live next week, Wednesday and Thursday, finale at Monza. Nothing to play for in both titles apart from pride and the final few places elsewhere on the tables. Join us live Wednesday for 8 p.m. BST and 9 p.m. BST, uh, 8 p.m. BST on the Thursday night for the pro. But for the final time tonight, congratulations on Orthodox on the pro championship. We'll see you next week. Good night. Good night, guys. Thank you. Yeah, it does. Congrats, boys. Yeah, clear.